Well, hello, hello, everyone. To those folks watching on the replay, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a good time. Pull out whatever it is you're working on. Let's get to it. We will give it a few minutes here while the ad rolls through for my live folks. Well, hello, hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hey, hey, what's up, Jessica? Hi, Beth. Hi, Matt loves diamond paintings. I saw you were like the first one up in this piece. What up, everybody? What's up, Therese and Yvonne? Hello? What's up, Cindy? What's up, Anxiety Art Adventures? Nina, hello. Charlie, Becky. What's up, Therese? Hi, Ash. Hi, Carissa, Cassandra, Cindy Lou Who. What's up, Angie? What's up, Jeremy? Jeremy, that breakfast pizza, though. I'm telling you, you had me at the bacon and the sausage, dude. You had me at the bacon and the sausage. What's up, Cindy B? Pinky's out. She's fancy, folks. She's fancy. What's up, Therese Hayes? Hi, Nina. Hi, Amber. Hi, Valerie. JJ Space in the house. What up, Tail Whip? Hi, Marcia. Hello, the procrastinator. Hi, Diane. Elaine. Kate. Tiny Puffer, fan. <laughs> hi Carissa I am tired as all get out I ain't gonna lie I took a little nap like you ever eat so much food can you crack that quick have you ever eat so much food uh you pass out right afterwards yeah that's what happened I woke up like 40 minutes before live was supposed to start and I was like I'm supposed to go live I feel like doing nothing <laughs> I I don't feel like lifing what's up Shawana hi Kathy hi Rebecca What's up, Pumpkin King? Hi, Jill. Hi, Nano Seven Craft. Daisy Dew. Get away from that ham. Hi, D'Angela. Sue's Q. Hi, Don Marie. Merry, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, this will be the last live before Christmas, and I think I should be live the weekend of Christmas. We'll just have to wait and see how I feel. Thank you so much, Jeremy. I greatly appreciate it. What's up, Christine? What's up, Robin? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Deb. Hi, Lena. If you don't know what Jeremy just did, that is called a super chat. Super chats are a way for you to be able to donate to support the channel and help me buy cool things to show you. So it is greatly appreciated, but obviously it is not, I repeat, it is not required. But it does help. So thank you very much, Jeremy. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, hey, everybody. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Elaine. Yes, Christmas time is here. Thank God, because good God, if I have to figure out something else to do with this elf, I'm going to die. He's killing me, y'all. He's killing me. He has, what? We have five days till Christmas, which means we have four more days of Smitty Werben Yeagerman Jensen. If you don't know who Smitty Werben Yeagerman Jensen is, one, he was number one. Two, he's my elf on the shelf. And every night he gets into some kind of shenanigan with the kids. Well, I touched him today. I was witness touching him, so he lost his magic for the rest of the day. So he cannot move. So he's been sitting on the Christmas tree all day. He took a he took a break. Okay, his little legs are tired from running around this apartment. He took a break. Day. He had, yeah he had a personal day. He took a sick day today. He said he was just gonna relax it out today. Oh, thank you, Teresa and Addy. Oh, Teresa Addy. I don't know why I call always call you Teresa and Addy. Thank you, Therese. Hi, Teddy. If you're watching with mommy, if not, she'll let you watch the replay so you can hear you say, hey. Who's the other person? Oh, thank you, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. So hello, hello, everyone. So yes, yeah, so we have four more days of the Elf on the Shelf. We have five more days before I lose my sanity. You guys, can this be over yet? Like, I'm so I'm so over Christmas. I'm already over it. I It hasn't even gotten here yet. I'm over it. Like, See, and today, uh, Becky's Madness for Crafting sent me a gift. She sent the family gifts, and she told me to just go ahead and open it because what you got Wednesday is going to be postponed for at least two weeks. Why? Because it falls on holidays, folks. I'm not opening up gifts on holiday. Well, technically, I should open up gifts on holidays. But the kids are out of school until the second, which means you're... I have videos, so if you're worried about videos, I have videos. And since I'm cutting back... I have more time on my hands now to do absolutely nothing. So there's plenty of videos. 
but there may or may not be a whip and chat next week. So I, if I, if I don't have a whip and chat, I will make sure to have a live. What's up, Diamond Paint with Doritos? Hi, Mickey. Hi, Nicole. Oh, hold up. Are there two Diamond Paints with Nicole? Oh no, it just changed the color. Hi, Nat's Hobby Sparkle. Hi, Craft and J Crafty Jasmine. Hello, hello, Misty. Hello, 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 everyone. So yeah, so uh. When you let small children open up gifts early, let me explain this to you. The insanity of their brain gets real high and then they spend the next two hours singing Jingle Bells and wanting to open all the things. When you allow them to open two things, they want to open all the things, okay? So Becky got to witness the madness of my house when you allow small lattes to open gifts early and they go insane. Usually it's just Maggie, and it was, and she, uh, Orion was just like, oh, cool, thanks, Miss Becky, and he went on about his life, okay? He went on with his life. Maggie, on the other hand, lost her ever-loving mind. She wanted to open all the things. Where are all the things? When is Daddy coming home so we can ask him, can we open all the things? Can we have all the things? When are we going to be able to open all the things? If we're home from school, we should be able to open all the things so we have more time to play with them. Like, she had, like, legit, like, you know, if we open the gifts now... That gives us more time to play with them before we had to go back to school. Like, she had legit arguments. And I couldn't be like, no, that makes no sense. Because they made perfect sense. Because she can make perfect sense when she wants to. Any other time, she's completely insane. So, I'm just sitting here like, no, we can't open anything else. You can't open my stuff. Please stop standing on the couch. Please stop jumping on the dog. Please stop messing with the dog. Please get the dog back as well. She's, she's, she's insane. It took me a whole how ever long it took me to finish making dinner Mr. Coffee to come home for her to reject eating dinner because apparently all she wants to eat this week is air particles. It, it took it took a long time to get her out of the mode, okay? It took a long time. What's up, Karen Murphy? What's up, the coloring book nook? Oh, yeah, Angie. She She's smart, all right. She got some new jammies, too, and she don't know nothing about nothing. She don't know nobody. She too cute for everybody. She even made the I'm cute face when Becky's like, can I see your jammies? And she made the I'm cute face where she does like the duck lips, but she puts her finger up to her mouth like Austin Powers. And I'm like, don't do it, Becky. Don't let her, don't, don't fall for it. Becky fell for it. She, oh, Mac. Nope, don't do it. Don't do it. The, the moment you fall for it, it's all over for you. It's all over. So yeah, so tis the season for child insanity. Help me. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Oh my God. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Mia. Hi, all but nice. Huggles. Crafting with Mayan. Mayan? Mayan? Mayan. About to say mayo. Before you start that, you hit me, you hit me one time with it. So hopefully everyone's having a good day. A little didgeridoo for you. Mm -hmm. Juliet. So if you don't know what that is, that is called a didgeridoo, like the Australian instrument. Yeah, it's a real thing. It's it's really happening. It happens often in my lives. But I was alerted by quite a few people last week that, oh, Miss Coffee, I didn't hear no didgeridoo. What ha happened? Okay, see what ha happened was, right, sometimes I forget about the didgeridoo because it's not a part of my everyday life, which you would think it is since it he it's here, but no. And now that we don't have upstairs neighbors, for the time being at this point everybody on the second floor is moving out so like i think i've seen i think i've seen three neighbors move out from upstairs and i think mr coffee saw another set of neighbors moving so yeah okay i have a question i want to understand if i ask please don't block me or anything i want to learn something can i ask if, about race you can try just don't be like ignorant or disrespectful what what i i'm black that yep there you go you're welcome I don't, I don't know what question you would have. <laughs> oh, yeah, Carissa. It was a joke in a live a couple of months ago, and my dad thought it would be the best idea ever to buy my husband a didgeridoo. So now my husband has a didgeridoo. Unica, our queen has arrived. Hello, Unica. Unica, I was thinking about something the other day. You should do reaction videos to music. 
you're dramatic enough that I think you could pull it off. I, I think that's that's your calling. I think you need to, I, I need to see you react. Like, I need to see your reaction to Sam Smith's How Do You Sleep video. Like, I need to see it. Can we make this a thing, Unica? Unica, can we make this a thing? You are, I had no clue you were black. Yep. Black as the night is dark. <laughs> I'm not blurple. I'm not blurple. There's a difference. Blurple is when you're so black you look purple. I'm like, uh, I'm like cinnamon. <laughs> then, you, then, you, then you have those those folks that look like undone cornbread. You know how you, when you make Jiffy cornbread and it turns like a high yellow color? That would be the kids because they're mixed. So they high yellow. Until they get older and then they come into whatever color they're going to just like their body is like weeble wobbling trying to figure out what it wants to be like minna was weeble wobbling there for a while and everybody thought she was puerto rican and then she like turned 10 and she turned black and everybody's like oh she's part black i'm like yeah there you go she's not puerto rican she speaks not she speaks not a lick of spanish <laughs> set up a demo hey Sarima. what's up linda that's right Little Miss Coffee with some crema in it. That's 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 Mr. Coffee with the crema. See, I got y'all got y'all got the coffee. Mr. Coffee is the creamer. <laughs> Matt said, "Never mind." <laughs> What's up, Danielle? What's up, Diamond Paint Dreamer? Hi, Linda. Hi, Lynn. I'm just saying. Let me see if I missed your question. <laughs> He's probably trying to ask a question for real, and I'm like talking about all this crazy stuff. My question is. I heard that the sign for eight, okay, my question is, I heard a sign okay was race. Why would that be? I had no clue. Hold up. I heard that the sign for eight, okay. What? My question is, I heard a okay was racist. A okay? What? What, this? Um, and all of my years of blackness, okay, let me, let me break this down for you. It's not Black History Month, but I'm going to give you a little lesson here. In all of my years of blackness, okay, I have never seen a hand signal that was racist. That's a lot of years. That's a lot of years. That's about 35 of them, okay? It's about 35 of them. And in 35 years of being black, I have never seen a hand motion that was like, racist 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 like i've i've never heard of such a thing i i might be out of loop um i'm oh yeah i i i don't i don't know i'm just i'm i'm so i'm just saying uh i can't tell you yes or no because with my blackness th there's no a-ok -okay, hey there's no hand motion that you're going to show me that I'm going to be like, wow, you're racist. No, no, N no, I don't. Oh, thank you, Unica. Merry Christmas. What up, Laura? Hi, Trisha. So, yeah, so Pumpkin King, I, I, if it, I've never heard of a hand motion being racist. Um, now, words, words, there obviously are words that are racist, but hand motions? That's like me going up to somebody and pointing and going, ah, ah. And you just like wag your finger at them and they're like, she's waving her racism at me. Like that, that sounds ridiculous. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say false. I'm going to say false. So you heard it from a black person. There's no hand motion that you can show them that they're going to be like, wow, you're racist. So I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> You cannot have my plate of cookies. Shine bright like a diamond sent those. Hi, Wolfpack. How are you feeling today? Yes, I'm rubbing cookies. Unica, do not judge me in my life choices. If I went over here and molester cookies, I'm going to sit here and molester these cookies. What's up, Felicia? They said the KKK use it. Again, me with all my blackness. Um... One, I've only ever heard of the KKK. I've never met anyone that I am aware of that is KKK. That is something that you would have to physically go ask a clan's member. Um, the only clan that I like is the Wu-Tang Clan. And uh, yeah, so I don't know nothing about that. If that's a question yet you're legitimately wondering, I'm sure there's a clan member somewhere around anywhere that you could probably ask. Me, personally, I can't tell you yes or no because 
I don't know what they use. I don't really pay much attention to them. To me, my brain, they don't exist until somebody mentions them. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. So, yeah, I don't I don't know. But then again, if you ask a lot of people, my, <laughs> my husband's kind of racist, but, you know, that's 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 normal in our house anyway. He gets called racist just just for breathing most of the time. Like, wow, that's racist. All I did was breathe. Yeah, that's all you got to do nowadays. Like, I, I don't know. That's just a thing. Oh, snap. Blonde Noir is in the house. She has graced us with her presence. Hello, Blonde Noir. Long time no see. You've probably been in here before and I just didn't see you. So, hey. <laughs> Yolanda says, I'm a, okay, I'm a lurker, but the Hitler salute is racist. There you go, Yolanda. Yolanda, Yolanda said the Hitler salute. That that is kind of racist. Now, if you're doing like the, that, then yeah, like if you walk up to a black person and do that, they're probably gonna punch you in the face. You're probably not gonna make it out there with all your teeth. Just saying. Hey, Regina. Oh, the baby snuggling. Hey, Kara. Kara. We gonna call you one of them. Hi, Shez. All right, guys. I'm out. Merry Christmas. Miss Coffee and family, everyone, try else only four and a half hours last night. Good night, all. Sorry, I can't say. No worries, Diamond Paint with Doritos. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hey to us. Yeah, have Hope you have a Merry Christmas. <clears throat> Lurking and baking a cake. Awesome. I like learning things about, but people get so offended by every little thing that I'm afraid to ask. Oh, yeah, it takes a lot um, to offend me. <laughs> um yeah, I've That's I've lived in a couple of racist of places of and you kind of learn to have that tough skin. Asking a question is not going to offend me, I promise. <laughs> I say we all yeah. bleed red. You treat me good, you treat you, you be an asshole. Yeah, like I could be an asshole to people all day. It doesn't make me anything different than being an asshole. I'm just saying. No, I know that <laughs> he goes, uh, no, I know the Hitler sign is racist, but he's talking about, he said something about the AOK. -okay. Like, I don't know what the AOK -okay hand motion is unless it's like a middle finger, but I give that to people that drive fast past me when, I, when it's snowing outside. So I don't think it's racist. I just think that's a sign of, hey, you're number one, you fucked hard. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, can y'all tell I'm tired? Hi, Cammy. What's up, one virtuous woman? Hello. One virtuous woman, I blame you for my newest addiction to that Centro machine, because good God. What's up, Dixie? So, yeah, so I am going to work <laughs> on this canvas tonight. That's right, Michelle. All races have, have their bad people. But don't be afraid to ask a question. You got a question, ask a question. You know how many times I've gotten asked, is Mr. Coffee white? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> No, he's yellow. I don't... Yeah, he's white. What, does that make him any less Mr. Coffee? No, it just makes him a different color than Miss Coffee. And before I was known as Miss Coffee, I always said that he was the cream to my coffee. Okay? So, like, yeah, don't, don't feel bad. We all... All I know is I'm excited for the Sassy Craft Along. Got a coloring book just for it. People are snowflakes nowadays. Oh, yeah. What's up, Desiree? Missy says, my hubs... Said, oh, Miss Coffee commented on my comment in the group. I was like, okay. I was messaging my cousin and reading a meme from her that was a little risque. He thought it was from me. Oh, snap. Uh, Misty, I, I swear I didn't do it. I didn't do it, Misty. Which, if y'all hear him talking to his imaginary friends, uh, he's playing his game tonight. So, cheers. Coffee. Oh, which, by the way. Before I start this, I don't even know why I didn't do it before. Since I didn't give you guys a What You Got Wednesday, I did get some stuff in the mail, and I don't want to wait to open it, because it's going to be like two weeks. Um, hold up, because where did... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Hi, Yvonne! Hey, right. Yvonne, I have on my uh, Giardizus shirt. I love it. Oh, guys. All right. Hold up, I'm so, dropping stuff. So I got this package from some people up in North Dakota or down in North Dakota. They're like, I think they're like down that way. Yeah, just look down that way. Um, so I'm gonna open. I'm I'm gonna open a couple of things live. If you guys don't mind, if you do, well, convert your eyes because I'm doing it anyways. Um, so yeah, so I got 
I got three things I'm going to open. Three things. Y'all cool? Cool. All right. So this first thing came from uh, Dave and Amber. If you don't know who Dave and Amber is, Diamond Paint with Ash Inc. 93 and Diamond Paint with Diamond Dave. All right. They wanted to send me a little something, something. I'm... You say Sicily? Oh, thank you, Carissa. Oh, yeah, thank you, JJ. I know, I know. All right, before we get started, let's let's handle this disclaimer. Hold on real quick. Killian, she ain't giving you a piece. Leave her alone. Jesus. Don't mind me, y'all. I tell y'all, it's going to be a crazy live right now. I'm telling you right now, I have way too much energy. Welcome, 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 one and all, to the After Hours Crafters Lounge. I am your host, Miss Crochet and Coffee. How you doing? With my co-host, who is also my husband, we call him Mr. Coffee. Say hi, Mr. Coffee. Hi, Mr. Coffee. Mr. Coffee says hi. In this live, you are going to hear and see things that might scar you for life. I am not responsible for drop drills, spilled out coffee, spit out coffee, or anything of the sorts. You are going to hear a lot of noises in the background of my live. You're going to hear my husband talking to his imaginary friends. You're going to hear my dogs trying to get it on, apparently, because that's a thing. You're going to hear my kids possibly run up and say goodnight to me or run through the house like mad people because they're a tiny little army of mad people that I created myself. You're also going to hear me vaping. No, I don't want your opinion on it. Daisy, leave that ham alone. I don't need your opinion on it. I have my own opinion, but I appreciate the fact that you have an opinion. And if any of this offends you, Please do not let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. Can I get an amen? With that said, welcome everyone to the After Hours Crafters Lounge. Tonight we are working on Star Wars Christmas Lantern. And it is, what is this? It's a 35 by 47, the drill area. And then the canvas is 39 by 52. I do have it linked in the description box of this video. So if you would like to get this canvas for yourself, bada bing, bada boom. Now, now that we got that over with, why y'all say amen, we go get into this package. Now, this package I just got today. So we got some baggies. I'll tell you right now, there's a bent drill tip pin in here, Ash Inc. We got more baggies. 13, 14, and 15 placer. Nice. What flavor vape juice tonight? I have blue raspberry. I have... Mm -mm -mm. Air Factory's Cool Key Crunch. I had Cocoa Puffs, but I ran out, and now I'm on Cool Key Crunch. No. <laughs> no, see, we, okay, so let me tell you what had happened, though. What had happened was, oh, dear God, there's a, a fat Santa in here. Hold on. What had happened was there was something going on at my husband's job. During the holidays, the oil field crews will bring food to different oil field companies and, and the guys on the rig and stuff. Well, apparently, someone yeah, showed up at his job with to to boxes of hams. And they're not small hams. They're like, I don't know, about 10-pound hams, 10, 20-pound hams. And they're like, get as many as you want. So Mr. Coffee got three of them. So if y'all see me on the news for exploding from ham, that's why. And we made ham tonight, and... It's left on the stove so I don't forget to put it away because I was too lazy to do it before live because, again, I had the itis, folks. I, I took a nap. I was trying to get up. When I take a nap, I get grumpy when I wake up. And then but the fact that I woke up to a bunch of messages and I'm like, I, I, I'm, I'm asleep. <laughs> I had to take some time out to, like, you know, calm myself. So I was calming myself. What's up, Brian? So I was calming myself, looking at the ham going, I'll put you away later. And now the dogs keep going up and sniffing the stove because they can smell the ham sitting up top there. Oh, oh sweet. Day calls for cookies. <laughs> sweet Lord and baby Jesus. Sweet Lord and baby Jesus. We're going to have to hide that from Maggie. Yeah, that should be it. Um, one, his face is adorable. I was about to push his face, and then I realized there was a press here button. Hold up, what else do you say? Let's see. Are you on the nice list? Probably not. Or the nicer list? Not that one either. <laughs> I knew it. 
you got a sort of naughty kind of nice list because you know that 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 would be my list right there when you're you're teetering on the edge yeah you got that list santa no all right then oh uh, and hank thanks dave amber and hank yeah we're hiding that from maggie oh dear jesus Pippa! we're gonna hide that from maggie Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And all the baggies and the places. Because y'all know I broke my 15th place a couple weeks ago. <laughs> the struggle is real, folks. How do I keep breaking them? I don't know. Mind your business. All right. So that was the first package. Let's open up. This one comes to us from... I, I can't show you either side because it has my address. It has her address on it. Mama Bear Diamonds on Etsy. Mama Bear Diamonds on Etsy. I don't know if she has anything on YouTube. So if she is in here, Mama Bear Diamonds, uh, you're being called. Mama Bear Diamonds, please come forward. Uh, oh, no, Pumpkin King. No, we are, we's, we's going to hide that from Maggie because, like, okay. So the other day I go in Maggie's room to go get her ready for school. And I'm trying to take and open this so I can show you what I'm doing so you're not just staring at the canvas. I go in Maggie's room, and Maggie has something called a pawpaw bear. Now, pawpaw bear... All right, there we go. Holy... What the... All right. Let me... Pawpaw bear is a bear that talks. The bear talks, and essentially, you record a message and put it on the bear. And then the bear just repeats the message over and over again. Like... When you press the button, he'll repeat the same message. It's called a cloud pet, but we call it her pawpaw bear because my children are small and we just left my parents in Pennsylvania a year ago, so my kids missed their pawpaw. So Maggie was having a rough time with it, so we found this iCloud bear at a, a garage sale. It was pretty much, it was brand new, and so we put pawpaw's voice on it. So one morning, I'm getting her ready. I think it was Thursday. Yeah, it was yesterday. I was getting her ready for school. Y'all almost punched pawpaw in the throat. All I hear is, I love you, magpie, to the stars and the moon. All I hear is my dad's voice, and I buck up like, I'm like, who ready to fight right now in my daughter's room? And then it's, it's just the pawpaw bear. And she's underneath the blankets, and I thought she was asleep, and she wasn't. She's just sitting over there just cackling away, just <laughs> getting her 50 chuckles in while I'm scared to death, almost peed myself on her floor because I hadn't went to the bathroom before I went to go wake her up this morning. Jesus. All right. Your daughter had the unicorn cloud pet that talks? Oh, yeah. All right, so... Bag. <laughs> Holy crap, this is massive. Jesus. All right, so we got... what? Is, oh, snap. Y'all don't tell Mr. Coffee. Can y'all see what that is? Can y'all tell what that is? First big up. It's pushing. It's the little fat cat pushing. Yep. And then we got a big old mermaid tail. I feel like I should be scaling it and, like, getting ready to fry it up or something. Good God, that is awesome. Hold, did she make these? So it says, Mama Bear Diamonds, her email, her... Oh, she has an Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook, y'all. There's her info. Go go harass her. <laughs> y'all go harass her. Tell her Miss Coffee said to harass her. Aw, uh, and then you get like a discount on stuff on the back of it, but I'm not going to show you that. You got to buy your own, but look at it. <laughs> you still have the mermaid pin, diamond paint dreamer? I was going to go back into selling pins, but I didn't want to compete with, with Rachel. And then everybody and their mama started selling that pin. And then when I found other ones, I was just kind of like, no, I don't feel like it. So if you were one of the lucky recipients to be able to purchase one of my mermaid pins, just know you'll probably have one of the only ones that will ever be sold. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. Crystal. What's up? Yep, that's who it is. Look at his old... He's old Barkley. Hi, Don. Yes, they are very cute. So thank you to Mama Bear Diamonds. Again, she's on Etsy, Facebook, Instagram, and she has an email, so you guys go check her out. Um, I will link her after this video, because obviously I can't link her now. Um, yeah, no, yes, big thank you to Mama Bear Diamonds. I greatly appreciate it. That's really cute. Like, I, I seriously feel like I should be scaling this to get ready to, to cook it up. That's, that's the southern girl in me. That's the southern girl in me. 
All right, and then I have one more. Mermaid, what are you doing? We're using pushing. <laughs> We're gonna put these off to the side here. And this package comes to me from, we're just gonna say Elizabeth, cause I don't wanna use people. Everyone say hi to Zeta. She is one of my friends. Hi, Minna Minna Chicken Dinner, hi Zeta. For those of y'all who are new to my chat, if you see Minna Phillips in chat, that is my in real life 13 year old daughter, please pray for me. Uh, yes, she does come to my live chats. I'm watching her. See, this is how, this is how you parent when you're not around your child when they don't live with you. You parent through YouTube. I'm watching what she, I'm observing what she's watching. This is how you watch your child. Do you know where your child is? I sure do. She's right there. <laughs> Minna, you at Zel uh, Zeta's house? All right, so I got... Oh, okay, there's a card in there. Now watch, this is gonna be one of those times where they're like, please don't say my name on camera. I'm saying all your names, the whole government on camera. Thank you for inspiring me to start my channel and encouraging me to start crocheting again. Your videos are very important and hilarious. Bring a smile and laugh. I have needed them the most, Eli. Oh, it's crafting chat with Eli. I hope you find this painting as unique and beautiful as your viewers find you. Happy holidays. Oh, thank you, crafting and chatting with Eli. I sure did. Okay, so that's crafting and chat. Oh my God, I literally just bought this. I literally just bought this. Oh my God. I'm not even joking. Someone sent me a link to it because they knew I liked flowers. I literally just bought this, but that is okay. That is perfect because I need two of them to do like a kind of like a, uh, like a wind chime type deal. I'm going to do this one on one side, put the foam board behind it and cut it out and then hang like, wind chime thingy doodles off of it that is perfect thank you eli what up cindy cindy's traveling crafts in the house what's up jamie i love it thank you so oh my god that that is hilarious literally somebody just sent this and i was like dude i gotta get me one of those hexagon uh diamond paints so if y'all didn't know uh this is a thing wow okay let, let's let's do it one came in baggies you're at work well i love you too cindy have a good night at work right. hello an angel's mom and noah so yes i absolutely freaking love it oh my god and it's tulips of course i love it like oh my god you can't go wrong with tulips that is awesome i am i am oh you sorry star or i'm doing the tulips we're doing the tulips folks <laughs> what's up diamond artworks we're gonna do the tulips I want to do the tulips. Y'all lucky I ain't coloring right now because that's what I felt like doing until I seen these tulips. Come on, pushing. We're going to do tulips. No, no. There we go. Maybe next time, Star Or. All right, get the hell out of here. We doing tulips. Yeah, I had never seen the hexagon diamond paintings either. And when I, somebody sent me a link asking me about China paintings, like literally like an hour ago. And I was like, I don't know, but I have to get some. So I actually ordered three. There are three different ones, but one of them was this exact painting because I just fell in love with it because it's two of them. All right. Will you not throw fits so I can diamond paint you? Okay. Almost. Instant change. Real, that's, that's right. It's real life here, folks. Do what the mood strikes you. Come here, pushing. Hold this paper down. Tip through the window. Let me stop before I get copyright strike. <laughs> so thank you so much, crafting and chatting with Eli. We is doing this. All right. So first, we gotta get rid of all these other grills because. Yeah, no, I don't feel like working on that thing anyways. <laughs> I haven't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't diamond paint all week. I ain't done nothing. I cleaned my house and I sat here and did nothing all week. I have like 20 videos that need to go up, which they're, most of them are up. There's like, I think I have three that I need to edit, but I literally have like a bunch of unboxings and stuff for you guys for the next however long. So y'all enjoy that. Um... <laughs> Hi, Lucy. 
Steel, how's it going? Yeah, it's a hexagon. Hexagon painting. Because crafting and chatting with Eli is awesome. Goodbye, Deborah. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us. So we're going to crack this bad boy open. Get out of here. <laughs> so they're in baggies, and they are numbered 1 through 15. There's no DMC, which is fine with me because it's like I need more diamonds to store. They are in order. The symbols look clear. Let's do the damn thing. Y'all Y'all ready to do this? Now I'm excited. Yes. I thought I was missing six there for a second. But I said we about to have problems. Got my number six right here. Oh, yeah, Don. I, Mr. Coffee was like, we need to pull you back a little bit. You're getting a little bit to be too much. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you talk. Like, I was fighting him. But he, he of course, like, always wins in the end. And I was just like, all right, fine. <laughs> so that's why you guys are going to oh, yeah, not see as many videos every week. And I think Deja was asking, will I do longer whipping chats? If the mood strikes me, I will do longer whipping chats. If not, you will at least get an hour whipping chat every week. I will try to make that a that that's always kind of been a thing, anyways. But I will try to do an at least an hour, no less than an hour. So Emmy, any beats on her finishing for tonight? I'm not gonna finish the whole thing. That's a lot, Becky. That's that's a lot. It is cute, though, ain't it? Oh, and for those folks that are wondering, this is the pen, if you guys remember from last week, this is the pen with the patty wax in it. This pen has been sitting over here on my, uh, I have another little table that, it's like a dinner table. Like one of those dinner trays, you know what I'm talking about. This has been sitting over on that tray for, since last week, so a week. And as you can tell, the wax is still tacky. I didn't have it covered up. I haven't refilled it. Like, it literally has been sitting over here in the tray in the exact same spot it was a week ago. And I haven't had the chance to refill it or anything, so yeah. I know a lot of people were saying about having issues with it. Um, don't focus so much on it. Like, a lot of people are like, it's not sticking like the wax and stuff. And I'm like, dude, relax. It's, it's, it takes a little bit to get used to. It does. I'm not going to lie. It does take a little bit to get used to. But once you get in the groove of using it, good God. Hi, Kelly. Hey. Hi, Tamara. I know, right? I just opened this as a gift from Crafting and Chatting with Eli. Thank you, Crafting and Chatting with Eli. Which we're doing this fall. This is really awesome. Fun. Like, I was working on a Star Wars kit. I don't link that one down below. Here I am working on something else. This isn't Christmas Lantern. What you doing, Miss Coffee? I'm minding my business. That's what I'm doing. Y'all... And then, for okay, so Amazon is doing the most right now, y'all. Now, y'all know it's a holiday season, so the mail is all kinds of mucked up. And so, apparently, when, on, on as Becky calls it, on the Alexis, <laughs> on the Alexis, if you get a package from Amazon, she won't tell you what the package is. So, I found a new and innovative way since 90% of my Christmas presents this year came from Amazon. I found a new way to keep the kids from trying to search for their gifts by keeping them in the boxes. Yeah, I've wrapped nothing. We're 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 we are the type of folks that wrap Christmas presents the night before Christmas. <laughs> what up, patriotic beauty? Give her a little salute. Little salute. Hi, Stacy. I would not know what the heck to do with the 15 places. I'd probably end up diamonds on my no up my nose. Why are you sniffing the diamonds, Catherine? Don't sniff the diamonds. Don't don't be sniffing the diamond. Now nah, this got me in the mood to diamond paint for real, y'all. Like, I I'm not gonna lie. I was getting on here. I was telling Mr. Coffee mm -hmm. too. I'm like, look, I don't feel like diamond paint. I'm about to just bust out a coloring book. I got my artist edition coloring book in from a. Uh, Hannah Lynn, because I'm super extra. Now, she has this book available on Amazon. It's not wire-bound, but because I'm a Patreon, I get the option of getting what she calls the artist edition, which is spiral-bound at the top. And then it's autographed. 
So I got that in, and I was about to bust that out tonight, but now I want to work on these tulips. What's up, Kaya? So now we're going to work up these tulips. I am going to have to get my light pad out, though. It's been a while for that. But these symbols are a little dark. They're, the sad part is, you can still see them, but I ain't got my glasses on today. We're not going to judge Miss Coffee for not wearing her glasses. We're just going to accept the fact that she ain't wearing them. Um, she could put them on her face, but she don't feel like it. So we're just going to get the light pad out if we can find it. And I need the smaller one. I don't need the big one. Where's the... Okay, now I know I had two light pads over here. One was jumbo and one wasn't as big. Like, I don't need this gigantic light pad for this painting. Like, I really don't. Okay, so we're going to mm -hmm. have to use this gigantic light pad because I don't know where my other light pad got off to. Did I send it to somebody? <laughs> that happens. Oh, oh, nope, it's right there in front of my face. Jesus. All right. Hold on. We're just gonna you're just gonna look at my shoulder. Look at the cool shirt Yvonne got me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna scooch. We're gonna get rid of the gigantic one. Put that one away. Did anybody else get any hamsters? Alright, and this one uses the USB cord. So we are going to get out the USB cord. This one should work. Y'all hang on a second while Miss Coffee get her life together. It can take some time, y'all. There we go. Now we cooking with fish grease. Yeah. No, don't turn off. There we go. I can see clearly now. The light pad is on. Y'all sing to y'all diamond paintings? I know you do. Don't act like I'm the only person that sings to the diamond paintings. I was like, we going somewhere? Hey, Karen. Hi, Cora. Knitting and lurking failed miserably at Tunisian crochet. Tunisian crochet ain't no joke. That stuff is for, like, the best of the best. Like, I can do it, but I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. You might like the link double crochet, though, uh, Cora. Cooking with Crisco. What up, EJ? All right, hold up. Hold up, because somebody just bought me washi tape. Because one of the other gifts that I already opened and have been using... Which the subscriber asked to not be named, so I won't. I, I won't say her name. I got some. Turn that off. I got these Faber Costell Polychromo pencils. No pumpkin, you ain't you ain't blocked. I can see you. I got sixty eight Polychromo pencils, and then I got some Hello Kitty washi tape. Oh, there it is. I got some Hello Kitty washi tape. No, honestly. So we gonna put some washi tape down. Thank you, Anxiety Art. Yeah, I, I was shocked to see them. Because I was like, I was just talking to Mr. Coffee about uh, where I won't do as much coloring on the channel. I don't plan on stopping my coloring. Because I think a lot of people were like, oh no, she's stopping coloring. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not stopping coloring. Um, I'll take the hit and views for that. I like coloring way too much to stop it. Um, so you guys still will see coloring, just it won't be as much in your face. Like, hey, look at all this coloring stuff I got. You, it'll just be real subtle. Like, hey, by the way, I got some coloring stuff. You guys want to see what I can do with it? Here's some stuff that I can do. So yeah. So if you watch my Christmas premiere, which uh, Pippa Brown organized uh, Christmas premieres for... What, I think it's 48 hours. Is it 48 hours, Pippo, or is it 24 hours? Where she had a few of us creators uh, do whipping chats for those folks that uh, will be alone on the holidays so that you won't feel so alone. A lot of us creators got together with uh, the help of Pippa Brown, and we did whipping chats for you guys. And you actually see me color the Hannah Lynn that I just posted in up on uh, Instagram. You'll get to see me color that in. 
on my whipping chat. That whipping chat's a hot mess. I'm just gonna warn you right now. This is, it's a normal Miss Coffee whipping chat, except for if you guys didn't know, Miss Coffee doesn't usually answer tag questions because Miss Coffee always has something to talk about because she's southern, okay? But to try to stay on top topic for Pippa, I had to answer tag questions because I tried recording that video three times and somehow the one video I went from Christmas to Halloween to Easter to New Year's to like every holiday you could think of. Kwanzaa. Like, I went to every holiday, and by the end of that video, you you knew everything about my life, my government, my dad's government, the government he worked for. Like, you knew all the things, and I was like, okay, I can't put that up. What is happening right now? So, I tried it again, and the same thing happened. I, I kept talking about all the other holidays, because Christmas isn't my favorite holiday. I'm not the biggest fan of Christmas. No, I don't like how commercialized no. it is. So, uh... I had to answer a tag question to keep me on topic <laughs> because unless y'all wanted to hear about all the holidays on Christmas, uh, yeah, it was going to be a hot mess. <laughs> yeah. All right, now I'm going to move my computer so I can actually um, read I, you guys' comments because I know a lot of people can read all the comments. I can't read all of them, but I can get most of them, okay? So we're going we gonna to try our best to get this. So we're going to... We're gonna Move some things around a little bit. Some room for the laptop. Yeah, I mean, like, tomorrow, I'll gladly run Scourge, even if I'm not getting, you know, all the people out and stuff. Thank you very much, Pippa. What's up, Phyllis? I just, just want my chance of anarchy and try to get something done. So right now, I am working on a hexagon diamond painting from Crafting and Chatting with Eli, if you're just coming in. Thank you to those who are joining us tonight. I greatly appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. It has been a crazy week. Literally, I did nothing. So I was I was talking about the Amazon thing. Amazon will sometimes, if you don't mark something as a gift and it comes in its own, like if you were to buy, I think Laura Law just figured this out. If you were to buy something from Amazon and it comes in a, a box itself, like if it has its own box, when Amazon ships it, they ship it in its own box. They don't box it inside of its box. Well, my dad decided he was going to get me what is called an Addy machine, which, again, y'all can blame one virtuous woman. I think she's still here in chat. If not, I y'all will have to go find her because, yeah. She was, she was talking about this Addy machine. How is my battery running low in 2.35 seconds? Seriously? She was talking about this Addy machine, and it's a knitting machine that you can make a hat in 20 minutes. I was like, say word. That ain't, you can't make no hat in 20 minutes, y'all. I have gone hat crazy, okay? My dad bought it for me for Christmas, and which y'all won't see Papa in chat tonight, I don't think, because they are leaving for uh, Alabama first thing in the morning. So he should be asleep right now, so I don't think he's going to come in and chat. But he bought me a, a knitting machine for Christmas, and so I spent the last couple of days knitting. And then, of course, the magazine calls, and they're like, hey, we need some tester patterns done. Of course you do, because I just got something fun to cool to play with, and you won't let me be great. You won't let me be great for testing a pattern. So I had to test a pattern, which took two days, because the first day I didn't realize that they had you know, put the pattern up. And then I started working on it, and I got tired, and I hate repeat, repeat patterns where the pattern repeats itself over and over again, and they get really boring to me, so I, I fell asleep, and then I had to work on it all this morning. So, yeah. Do I have a link to what? What, the knitting machine? Hi, I'm just saying. They just saying. If y'all didn't know, they just saying. I'm taking two. Oh. Oh, I know, Cora. I already do. I already love it, and I'm already going. To, I already have plans of getting the the expensive uh, one because the one he got me is called a Centra, which is the one I told him to get because I didn't want my dad spending like three hundred dollars on me for a Christmas gift because you know my my parents have like a hundred grandkids, so they need to go buy for their they they have like forty grandkids or something like that. But they need to buy for their grandkids, and I'm an adult, so I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna have my dad spend that kind of coin. So I asked him to get me that one so that I can see if I liked it. And if I did, I was going to go ahead and spend the money to get, like, uh, y'all remember that donation that Diamond Art Club dropped uh, on me I, that I took, took all my air? So 
I was going to use that to buy myself a Christmas gift, which was going to be the actual Addy machine, which is like 200 and some odd dollars. Hi, done with Dor by Dorothy. How's it going? Welcome to chat. Yeah, like I've been, y'all, I'm not even joking. Look at this hat. Not even joking. I made this hat in 20 minutes. It's a slouchy beanie, so that's why it's so big. Look at this. It's a hat. I made it in 20 minutes. And it's multicolored. So when you flip it on the inside, it's varinated yarn. 20 minutes. I was like, oh dear God, I found a new toy. This is now my new favorite toy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the I'm gonna make the investment to get the actual Addy machine. And I'm pretty excited about it. So thank you again to Diamond Art Club for that generous donation that will now be used to buy a Diamond Art Club and an Addy machine. <laughs> you'll autograph, oh, so you won't autograph a book for a, a cup, but you'll autograph a book for a hat. <laughs> Hold up. okay, now where did I put my pen? Y'all done lost my drill pen. Do you see the drill pen? There it is. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. For both. Oh, you'll do it for both? Do you have to already know how to knit? To no, Jennifer, you do not. Um, I, I can knit. Again, jack of all crafts, master of none. I can knit, but... Uh, the, I think the biggest thing I've knitted was a baby sweater. No, no, jack of all trades, master of none. So I can knit, but you don't have to learn. You don't have to know how to knit. You just have to know how to put the yarn in the machine and crank it. So I'm at square. Oh, I don't need to find yarn for it. I a couple years ago, Mr. Coffee bought me a thousand dollars worth of yarn for uh, Valentine's Day when he was living up here by himself. And I'm still you. I still have a crap ton of that. So yeah, you know how hard it is to get through a thousand dollars worth of yarn. Have you ever seen a thousand dollars worth of yarn? Yeah. If you thought my Diamond Art Club collection was big, the yarn collection is bigger than the Diamond Art Club collection. Okay. I got plenties of yarn. Plus, I don't think we have a good wheel around here. Do we have a good wheel around here? Are you back down here? I don't think we do. I'm talking to him like he can talk to me right now, like he's not in the middle of a raid or something. Don't mind me. I knit, but I haven't seen an Addy. Huh, gonna have to check that out. I am gonna do a video on it. Now, With I know a lot of people don't like the coloring videos, and a lot of people aren't about any other crafts on the channel, but unfortunately, just don't watch those videos. Because um, again, I, I am still cutting back, but like I just got that Addy machine. So you will see a video on the Addy machine and how, to, how I use it and how I make the hats. Um, I'll even do a time lapse if you would like of me making a hat and then like you guys will get to see how to take the hat off the adding machine and make it into a hat and all that fun jazz so yeah there will be a video up on that but it'll be up on saturday monday through friday will be diamond painting videos i can tell you that right now unless i get an urge to color or something but for the most part most during the week mostly it's going to be diamond painting mostly like unboxings and stuff like that. And then if I just don't have an unboxing and it's not like a Tuesday for a whipping chat, then there just won't be a video. <laughs> Ooh, my bad, odd butts. Paige ought to be the witch. What are you doing? What? what? Oh my God, yes, Crystal, it is. Uh, when Mr. Coffee, before we moved here to North Dakota, Mr. Coffee lived here for five years by himself before we decided, you know, it's time to move the family out. So... So I wouldn't get bored, he got me a thousand dollars worth of yarn, and because at that time I was just crocheting, so he wanted to make sure that I had something to keep me sane while taking care of our two small children. Because at the time, I believe Maggie was a little over one, which would have made Orion almost two or three. Yeah, I did it. And so yeah, from two or three to like seven. My, I was a single mom for five years. Let's just say that. I was a single mom for five years of two small children. And then I had Minna, who is, what, she's five years older than the, the than Orion? So 
I, I would have her and the two little ones living with me by myself while he was up here. And then when we moved, Minna stayed with her gram and her dad and we moved up here. And so I, I needed something to keep me sane. So he bought me all this yarn. Now I was expecting like a $50 gift card or something to go buy yarn. No, he was like, go clear the shelves, honey. Okay. That, that's how I knew we were oil filled rich. Cause he went, he, he literally was like, go clear to go clear the shelves, honey. What, what does that mean? <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> But believe me, we're not we're not rich. It's just oil filled money. <laughs> Redneck beauty knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, Jeremy. That I forgot. That's right, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Hold up. No, I don't want to do a, a regular camo for you. You're not a regular camo type guy. You like blue. That's what it was. Oh my God, Laura has us in a tub, y'all. Y'all pray for us, Jesus. Um. She over there singing the Rupper Ducky song, which lets me know that she is in the tub. Hi, Joanna. Jeremy, I'm going to get you that hat. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a video of me making your hat. So you tell me what... Give me two colors. And I'll make your hat in a video for next Saturday. Yeah, I'll make it for next Saturday. Yeah, we did. Y'all, I'm going to be making <laughs> videos in the dungeon. The children are home. I'm going to have to see if they'll they'll give me a day. I can't even, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do a, I should be able to do a whipping chat this week because uh, the kids are off Monday, but Mr. Coffee still has to work Monday, but then he's off oh, Tuesday. Yeah. So if I make and record the video like I normally would, I might be able to get the kids to sit still long enough for me to record a whipping chat. Shooting me. Ah, uh, but nice. What it, brother likes teal the most? That sounds like some Fifty Shades of Grey stuff. What does that mean? Odd but nice. Oh my God! I'm telling you, I'm not making you a pickle suit. I'm making you a body suit, a pickle body suit, and you better wear it too. You better wear it all over Florida. I can do a giveaway with hats. I even have little tags because I used to have a little crochet business after I stopped doing photography. I had lots of little businesses. <laughs> um, I had a little crochet business, so I have tags with uh, Miss Crochet and Coffee on them. I could totally do a giveaway for a hat. I'll even do a video of me making your hat. My wife's doing her little live video on YouTube. The guys are catching random words, and they're like, I'm very concerned and confused. <laughs> I think I heard Fifty Shades of Grey bodysuit. You better wear it. <laughs> teal or any blue. Okay, I'm going to have to get Mr. Coffee to help me with that, because I can't see teal. <laughs> yep. Art and Anxiety Art wants a mug so bad. Anxiety Art, what do you want on this mug? What exactly, because you, you just like you don't know what coloring book that I want, I don't know what mug you want. I think there was five different ones. There was like Good Gravy, there was uh, Do You Boo Boo, there was like five different mugs. I can't remember all the sayings right now. Mostly because I don't see them as sayings, that's just how I talk, but everybody else says they're sayings. Uh, you're just a face and a cool saying, Okay. Like my real face, because I can put my real face on there real big for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't judge me. If you change it, you What's B King? Little Live. This is Live, not Little. What? Ah, oh, but nice. Have you been uh, choking the turkey today? Don't let the Lord hit you. Don't judge. Uh, Don't judge me in my life choices. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. So y'all say these are phrases. These are not phrases. My I, my, I think the next mug that I'm going to auction off is going to be the one that says, uh, if you want my sympathy, look in the dictionary between shit and syphilis. I think that's going to be the next mug I auction off for a giveaway. <laughs> just, just because that's awesome. I'm telling you the pole dancing unicorn coloring book. What? Did somebody give it to Patriotic Beauty for Christmas? Because I missed that video. And I know I didn't miss it because I don't miss her video. 
Y'all see that DIY moon shop she got today? Good God. I was looking at that one, but there's another one on my list, the daughter of something, where she has the apple in her mouth. That will be that will be the next one, and High Priestess will be another one that I'm getting from them. Oh, and I'm getting them decked out. I don't care. Like, oh, good, good God. Good Just in time for Crafty Sass along. That's right. Yes, please. Amazon saw it last night. Are you serious, Reba? So if anybody needs a cool Christmas gift for Patriotic Beauty, they have a unicorn uh, pole dancing coloring book on Amazon. I'm just saying, what's better than a pole dancing unicorn? Probably the fact that Mr. Boo keeps showing her up on her own pole. <laughs> that poor patriotic beauty was sitting there watching her son doing all the moves. And she's like, I got this. I ain't got this. I ain't got this. Little Mr. Boo getting up there. He's like, yeah, mama, I'll show you how it's done. Mr. Boo's her new coach. <laughs> He's going to give her all the moves. He's going to take you to number one in the nationals. <laughs> oh. You love DIY Moonshop? I, I, they have grown on me. I, at first I was a naysayer. I'm not going to lie. They made me eat my words. I was like, that canvas can't be worth that much money. That, you know, that shipping cost though. Like I can't even justify that shipping cost, but they lowered that shipping cost. Miss Coffee went hog nuts. Y'all, I, I already placed the third order. <laughs> third order already in. Haven't even opened the second order. Y'all, it's, it's madness. It's what it is. It's madness. It's diamond painting madness. Now, don't worry. It's not going to be all DIY moon shops. Let me get my fill of the new, the novelty of it. After the novelty wears off, I'll stop. <laughs> or my bank account runs out. Whichever one comes first. There's a... I do like Paint Gem. That video, I will make sure that video is up for... Because um, I still have Somebody Uniquely Yours that. Down Under. Which, that was another video that I might get some hate on. Because, uh... I was a little snarky in that video because it was right after I recorded that video right after I recorded the Royal Diamond Painting video. So I was still a little snarky and mad because of my Royal Diamond Painting canvas. So please forgive me if you don't. I don't care. Um, give it a thumbs down. I don't give a crap. But that video is a little snarky. So I'm having to cut some stuff out of it and really edit that one because I was a little mean. But I was highly impressed by Uniquely Down Under... Uh, Diamond painting as well, because somebody asked me to check them out a while ago, and it took it, it took it, I ordered it back in October, and I got it December 12th, Yeah. I and I know it's that. because, now I now know that it's because oh, the mail system and where I live is behind, but at the time that I was recording the video, I don't think I knew that information, so I was just like, what the, it took you so long to get here, and then I opened the canvas, and they made me eat my words, because that canvas was immaculate. But then, uh, so yeah, so I will make sure Paint Gem is up for Monday because I have gotten a lot of people that ask me about Paint Gem. I'll make sure that video is up for Monday. I'm trying to see where I'm going here with my multi places. Oh, I know it's okay to be in a funky mood, but I was in a, I was, I was jacked. Carissa, honestly, if they're, if all of their canvases, from what I got, I got was poured glue. I got poured glue with a clear cover. You could see the actual uh, image. It is a small painting. I got a 30 by 40 because you guys know I try not to go super huge when I order paintings, which is what threw me off about Uniquely Yours Down Under because that's a 50 by 70. And I'm like, I know there's no way in all of creation that I would have ordered one that size. I did. I just didn't remember because it had been so long since I ordered it. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it now. I got him. 
I'm waiting on my uniquely yours down under. Yeah, it actually was really a really, really nice canvas. Hi, Lena's Corner. I got my first acrylic diamond painting pen from uniquely yours down under. She is about 10 minute drive from her. You're 10 minutes from her? Tell her I love her paintings. She is awesome. Ask for a tour of the factory. <laughs> like, can I just walk around in here real quick? Can I see how you pick your designs? The design I chose, you guys, I need to get with uh, T Mall. So if anybody sees T Mall, let her know Miss Coffee coming for her. Um, but don't tell her that I want to buy sparklers. Just make her think that I'm coming after her for some bad reason, because that's normally what people think when I say I'm coming or I got words for them. They get scared and they're like, oh God, what did I do? You ain't did nothing. I just want stuff from you. Let me buy your wares. Uh, one is far back center where I just came from. <clears throat> I know someone with your name, so just who who? Oh, Jennifer. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm over here waiting. For I you. have, I think, six more DACs on their way. Thanks for watching Miss Coffee's unboxing right, of Trixie you know. and the others yesterday. Oh, Jennifer, you're welcome. <laughs> Y'all, I was so mad because I paid. I I bought those and I paid for overnight shipping. I had to ask special for that. Okay, I had to ask special for overnight shipping. It still took it to get here until that Monday. I was mad. Whoever's on P, you shouldn't be. Because that cost a lot because of all those canvases and how heavy they are. And they were like, oh, sorry, we don't count Saturday as overnight. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Being, being on What's the up, Creative Grammy? I just finished yeah. off your uh, puppy chow. I'm not even going to lie. So if y'all saw that unboxing, that incredibly long unboxing of all that stuff I got, again, thank you to those folks that sent that stuff. I, I, Maggie's decorating the dog with the little crochet hats with the bells on them. And we were eating all the puppy chow and pretzels. And I literally, when somebody was like, it's called puppy chow, I literally spit out what I had in my mouth. And I was like, hold up. Is this for the dogs? It has chocolate in it. She wouldn't make something with chocolate in it to kill my dogs, would she? Like, I was about to have words with Creative Grammy. You find a new and creative ways to kill my pups, Creative Grammy? And then I realized, no, that's just the name of what they call the snack. Yeah. Seriously, um, if the post office is running, it counts. Um, my post office doesn't run on Sundays. You bought six more. Anxiety art. Look, all I did was show you the things. That's all I did. I showed you the things. And this time I went, you know what? I'm going to buy all of them. I'm going to buy all of them. And if, if I happen to feel generous, maybe I'll do a giveaway or something with one of them. Because y'all get ready. Because every time I hit a new milestone in, in 2020, uh, I'm doing a giveaway of some sort. Just going to be one Diamond Art Club canvas anywhere. U.S., international, I don't care. Uh... Yeah, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> I want to get so I I want to get to some of these people that have never had a Diamond Art Club just so they can experience cuz I think everyone should have at least one experience at least with Diamond Art Club. And I think Katia, one of my 5,000 subscriber giveaway winners, I think sh that was her first Diamond Art Club and I I kind of felt bad because I'm like, of course your first Diamond Art Club is going to have my gigantic face on it. But at least you got to experience it. You I bought some patty wax? Awesome. I was trying to solo Damn it, boo boo. And I did buy all of the new ones. <laughs> but they do on Saturday. Yeah, they do on Saturday. Which is why I didn't understand why they couldn't deliver it. But because, again, our mail is so jacked up. Our mail is behind. They're just now getting caught up from two weeks ago. Like, I have packages coming in from two weeks ago that I should have already had. Like, I, I ordered uh, diamond paintings. I ordered the Hannah Lynn, the purple one, the one with Moon. I ordered that one. I just got it in two days ago. Like, that's how far behind they are. And I ordered those, what, almost three weeks ago? So that's why I wanted to ship faster for the, the newer ones so that you guys could actually see them before the next new ones come out. And they were still giving me the rigmarole about it. And I was like, you know what? You and I need to have words, because look here, Mr. Postman. But then I forgave them, because that UPS guy brought them to me, and I didn't have to chase Mr. Uh, Jerry down for him. Y'all know Mr. Jerry the mailman. <laughs> me and Mr. Jerry, like this, son. <laughs> Slash the stash 2020. That's right. 
Except for my yeah. slashing is me going through my closet going, yeah, I'm never going to do this one. Who wants it? Because <laughs> why should I rush through all those paintings? I shouldn't have to rush through them. Desiree, you're working on your first one? Nice. There she is. You guys, so pushing. Sorry. My gigantic cattail or fish, fish, cattail? Really, Miss Coffee? I need more coffee. And my gigantic Hello Kitty come from Mama Bear Diamonds right there on our YouTube sitting right there. Y'all go bug her. Like, like I said, when y'all bug her, y'all let her know that Miss Coffee sent you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mama Bear. I greatly appreciate it. They are hella cute. I love this one. This one's one of my favorites. And that one, I'm going to have to, I'm already using one of them. This one, I'm going to have to hide from Mr. Coffee because, yeah, he loves that little cat. Won your first Diamond Art Club last week on Shine Like a Diamonds contest. It was the first one. I was so excited. Oh, that's awesome, Dixie. Hi, Shara. So I love it. At first, I thought it was soap, and I was like, I'm never going to use that. Why would she send me soap? I'm never going to use Like, this was, this was decorative hand soap. And then I saw the magnet, and I was like, oh, snap. All right, Ash. <laughs> oh, no, no. Come back. <laughs> How fast does Patty Wax get to you? How fast does Patty Wax get to me? Um, it took it a little bit, but again, that could have been because my mail was messed up. I can order some and tell you. Because again, y'all have to keep in mind the post office right now with the holidays, they got all those holiday cards. My post office ran out of stamps. Like, I went to go buy stamps to mail off the other 60 holiday cards I have to mail out. And they ran out of stamps. And I was like, I only come here once a week. Like, how am I supposed to get stamps? And they're like, you can come back tomorrow. Yeah, that's not happening. I don't, I'm, I can't put on pants two days in a row. That, that's, that's insanity right there. Like, I, putting on pants twice in a row is, that's not a thing. Not in my world. No, thank you. I'm, I'll, I'll get it tomorrow, tomorrow, next week. <laughs> If one of my mods could get the link to Mama Bear Diamond's shop on Etsy. I can't remember where I did with her card. Right. Where did it go? Hers came in the pink envelope. Did I put the card back in there? Oh, did they? That's Patty Wax got to Las Vegas really quick. Pippa, are you in Vegas? Are you are you are you not telling us that you're in the U.S. right now? Because if you're in the U.S., I'm I I have to come see you so I can sing. What would you do to meet Pippa Brown? Would you go to Vegas? Probably. <laughs> I'm getting really good at that. Yes, the cover minders hold back the plastic cover so it stays out of your face. While you're diamond painting, or if you're a cross stitcher, it holds your needles in place so that you don't lose them and stab yourself to death. Oh yeah, welcome to uh, screws. No, they're not paperweight. No, no, they're not paperweight. Thank you, Teresa Addy. Greatly appreciate it. There's the link for Mama Bear. Y'all go check her out over on Etsy. I don't think y'all can sell her out, but y'all y'all can go check out her wares. I think she's been at this for a while, so you ain't selling her out. <laughs> she got plenty of inventory. No Tia forwarding to me. Oh, okay. Teresa says she got hers Tuesday ordered last Friday. Dang, that is hella quick. Hi, Sensational Crafter. Patty Wax fees cost me 1950-ish USD to Canada, but she told me she refunds some portion. Oh, well, that's cool. Hi, Matt loves diamond painting. Miss Coffee, I made some cover minders and love, I love them. They are so easy to make. Yes, they're easy to make, but I'm lazy, Matt. I'm so lazy. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Now, if I find like a something that catches my eye that I want in a cover minder, uh, I will check first to see if any of my cover minder friends uh, have it in their shop. And if not, I might make Mr. Coffee make it for me. But I'm not doing it myself. <laughs> I'm Again, I'm a lazy crafter. If I ain't got to do it myself, I ain't doing it. 
Like, if I could telekinesis these diamonds onto this kit right now, I would totally do it. But I can't, so I had to put them on here myself. She gave me a choice of, like, 12 to pick from under the sea mermaid. What? Has Mr. Coffee tried to steal your other shirt? No, he has I don't think he's seen it. <laughs> by the time he sees one of the, I think by the time I wore that one shirt, it was, uh, I turned the lights out and I put it on. So he wouldn't. But when I first, when he first seen the one I'm wearing now, he was just like, uh, where'd you get that? I was like, somebody sent it to me. <laughs> C Melody from, from Diamond Arc. Oh, good God. That's a big one. Carissa says, all right, guys. I need to go. It was nice being in there, in here tonight. You're great. Love watching you, Miss Cobb. Oh, thank you, Carissa. Thank you so much for stopping to hang out with us. I greatly appreciate it. Crafting chat with Eli. Every time I turn my, my oh, son's TV on in his room, I think about you in that whipping chat where you did about uh, your husband getting the new TV. <laughs> and you blaming your back issue on the beers. And I was like, those beers are just doing their job, okay? They're there to hydrate you and, and intoxicate you and be your friend. Oh, and you hating on them because they hurt your back. We all have to make sacrifices. <laughs> all right, Anxiety Art. Hi, Lynn. You have a good night. Have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays if I don't see you beforehand. Because you guys, okay. So next week, you guys, will get a video on Monday. But, you, oh, that's right. I don't have to record a whip and chat for Tuesday. Christmas Day at 1 a.m. I know it's a weird time, but you can always go back and watch the replay. And I'm answering a tag, so it's not like you have to keep up with chat or anything. Um, there will be a tag, you know, whip and chat put up on the channel at 1 a.m. So instead of doing my normal whip and chat, you guys will have a tag and then I will resume my channel back to normal after January 1st because of the kids being home from school. And that being their last day, I'm only going to be putting up probably unboxings until the kids go back on the 2nd of January. So, uh, mostly because they're already up. So, yeah. I'll put up, I'll, I'll make sure to put up all the unboxings that I have for you guys for the time that the kids are home because with it being Christmas and all the cool fun stuff that they'll be getting, I want to make sure I spend some time with them before they have to go back to their normally scheduled program. Anyone looking for something to do for Sassy January? Amazon has cheap adult coloring. <laughs> yes, the Sassy Craft Along, uh, will start January 1st, so pick your poison. Um, we yes. are going to have like an Instagram hashtag and all that. I will record a short video, and for those folks that are like, we want to see your face! One, that's weird. Two, uh, you probably will see my face in that video. If not, you'll see me doing something. Um, just letting you know, again, what the hashtag is and everything else. So, because I'm still... I'm still working out like exactly how I want to do this and which pattern I want to do. And I'm doing one out of my, uh, my, my sassy book that I got one for me and, uh, patriotic beauty. So yeah. Hi Barker. Hey, sorry. I didn't say hi before, but I was working and lurking, but I got to call it a night too. Good night all. Good night Barker. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. No worries. Are you working on that canvas that you just unboxed, Patriotic Beauty? The one with the lady and the booby and the guy and the hot positions and things are getting hot and heavy in Cleveland. Just saying. The sad part is all I did was look at the jeans and I was like, how cool would it be that black and white picture if just the jeans were colored and the rest of it was black and white? Oh my God, that would be amazing. You should get some sparklers and like highlight her boobs and stuff. That would be awesome. I'm I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> sparkly boob. Who doesn't want sparkly boobs, folks? I mean, unless you're a guy, and then I mean, you'd get excited if you saw sparkly boobs. Don't act like you don't, okay? All over here. To throw. What's your favorite, Island Time over or Sea Melody? Island Time. 
Oh, you're doing a labyrinth? Nice. Yes, you can, Laura. Hi, Kayla. I'm fixing to get in the shower, but seeing you were live. Oh. You. Just, just push up. Yeah, just push Love up. and wanted to say hey. Hey, I'm Kayla, how you doing? Hi, Simon. I win. Okay, well, not all guys, Simon. I'm sorry. I was really hoping. I was boots or boots? Boobies. If y'all missed that unboxing, that was a hot unboxing. I think that should have been one, though, that uh, Metal should have unboxed it. I'm just saying. After the way he unboxed Lips Like Morphine, I think he should have unboxed that one, Patriotic Beauty. The Reverend should have unboxed that one. Mr. B wants sparkly boobs. <laughs> Hello, Miss Soft Brown Crafts. How's it going? Hello, Nana. Hello, Miss Crochet and Coffee. Sorry I was late. Say hi. Having to monitor my sweet dog, she, hold up, had a stroke today, and so everything's so very strong. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about your pupper. I hope they start feeling better soon. Missy says, my husband said I can't do the ones I wanted to do. He's he's vanilla. <laughs> I love the Patriot Patriotic Beauty got too. He doesn't want me to hang them. You don't got to necessarily hang them. Like in a in in the like main area of the house, but if you put it in the bedroom as a reference, I'm just saying for like any time your husband's just like, you know, I don't know what to do in here. You just point to it. That do that. Let's do that. Did you ever get the Tree of Life, Miss Coffee? I did not. I've been meaning to get it, and every time I go on their site, they come out with new releases. They need to chill with these new releases, yo. Like. <laughs> There's still, like, that one painting, I think, is, like, the last one on my wish list from Diamond Art Club. And I keep forgetting about it because they keep coming out with the new ones. Like, did y'all see the one from today? Who was that? Sylvia pointed out that it's the same artist as Mother and Child from Cotart for the little uh, Indian woman that they put up today. Good God. Don't choke on your lemonade. Come on, Sariba. Hi, Karina. Don, search naked diamond painting on Amazon. Oh, good God. Catherine, you as a newbie, how you know to search for naked diamond painting on Amazon, girl? <laughs> She's like, uh, no, just go ahead and search naked diamond painting. You'll get all kinds of boobage, cleavage, all the edge. <laughs> manscaping. Type in, somebody type in manscaping on AliExpress. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. That's why I want it. I know it's pretty when it's done. I've seen it done, and I was I, I keep wanting it. Once upon a dark time, it's calling me. Eh, I can live without it. I'm just ordering fucking adorable cute critters with foul mouth coloring. <laughs> the coloring book nook. <laughs> all I all I pictured when you when I read that was she just color the coloring book nook just finished a Christmas one with cats. And all I pictured is her doing that one with cats, but they all have like their middle finger sticking up. <laughs> That's awesome, Glitter Angels. Hello. That That's all I pictured was the cats with their middle fingers up. I was like, oh my gosh, the kitties. The sweet, sweet kitties. Like Laura Law's got that new kitten, uh, Misty. Now Misty's going to be flipping her off all the time. Missy, stop flipping off everybody when I'm going live. She'll just run by the camera and flip everybody off and run off. Oh, dear, no. No, on Manscaping. <laughs> oh, come on, Nina. You don't want to search Manscaping? Anxiety art. How cold is it? Is it, wow, it's cold. I should have really worn a jacket cold. Or is it my nipples can cut glass cold? Like, there's a different type of cold. Like, North Dakota... When it gets cold here, it's nipples cut glass cold. So don't ever say goodbye to your loved ones over a pane of glass because you will destroy the glass. I'm just saying. That's how cold it gets. The headlights get turned on real quick outside here, okay? there's My Schwann's guy, I made him come in the building this week. I was like, uh-uh, nah, nah, dude. I can't. I ain't about that. Like, you're going to have to walk around because uh, I'm not opening that balcony door. And, of course, Killian, he laying on the porch just having a good old time out there on the snow on the porch. I'm that dog's insane. My nips can cut nips off. <laughs> oh, shut up, Laura, with your 70-degree weather. I'm trying to decide between Micah, Jelena, and 
Eva Campbell. I just want to add one more artist to my collection. Miss Coffee, my phone died after you mentioned your son's TV. I've hidden my credit card from my husband after buying the last TV, and my husband can lift his own damn beer from now on. <laughs> That's right. Tell him you want it, you go get it. Feed your own addiction. <laughs> it's 28 here in Virginia, so nipple cold for me. It's 31 here. We're actually warmer than you. But that's 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 before the wind, though. With the wind, it's probably in the negatives because that's usually how it goes. 18 degrees. Yeah. That's been that was just this morning. Oh, that sounds like fun. Hello, Dr. Valerie Cruz. Welcome. Oh, crap. Sandy. We missed Sandy. you too. Sandy under his ship. I saw your name pop up oh. earlier and I was like, hold up, Dr. Cruz is back. The doctor is in, y'all. For all those folks having problems with asthma, the doctor is in. Because y'all know y'all girl got asthma. Diamond Art Club be trying to... I'm telling y'all, Diamond Art Club trying to pick me out the game. Y'all see how they keep trying to take all my air away? Y'all, I think they have it out to get me. How do, how do you get rid of a crafter? You use their ailments against them. They're like, oh, she got asthma? Let's come out with all these awesome canvases. <laughs> 31 in Kansas. Yeah, I'm I'm over it, but the sad part is technically winter doesn't start until Sunday. <laughs> it's not even winter yet. It's still fall and we've gotten snow. We have probably a good couple of inches on the ground now, and winter doesn't start officially until Monday. Exactly, Pippa. Drop it easy, like like it was nothing. Just came in here and was like, There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce now. Bye. You're trying to take all the air out of my lungs. I ain't got much left. I'm already feeling lightheaded just thinking about it. Twenty-eight Sandusky, Ohio. I don't like uh, Sandusky. Ugh. No, no, that's too cold. Thirty-eight is bad enough. White cheddar cheese. It's tonight. What's that? No. I don't remember who was saying saying it wasn't your last one of this season, but I think he is. Yeah, I, I essentially I get paid from YouTube and I just hand it over to Diamond Art Club, but now they're having to share with DIY Moonshop. <laughs> Because uh, those canvases, though. But one of the canvases I chose this time, which was La Mort, which I didn't realize that they kept showing pictures of this canvas, La Mort, on Facebook and Instagram. That was the canvas I got with all the special diamonds, with the, the blue lips, with the blue stuff coming out of her mouth and the bones. So above water, she's a normal face and everything, and she has blue lips. But below water, she's a skeleton. I got that one, so that's one that will be unboxed from DIY Moonshop. I don't remember what the other one is, to be completely honest. I remember it's something for Maggie, but that one has special diamonds, too. But uh, Mr. Coffee actually picked out Lamort. He said that was really cool, and he wants that hanging up on the wall, so that was one that he actually picked out. I'm going to bounce. I'll catch you guys later. 25 in New Jersey. Hi, Pearl's crazy videos. How's it going? Pearl, is that a llama on your, your profile picture? Because that's awesome. Llama, llama. Which you're supposed to open those, by the way. Oh. Hey, Becky, if you're still here, he hasn't opened them yet. <laughs> no? No, that's all three runs for the week. Hi, Vanessa. How's it going? 34 in Indiana, 24. Ooh. God damn it. You all right? You hit that knee again? Mm hmm. Tiny puffer fish. Ah. I saw all the fucking corners off that table. Sorry, you guys. Uh, Mr. Coffee keeps banging his kneecaps off our table for some reason. No, just the one. Oh, just the, it's the same one? Mm -hmm. So that shaking y'all just saw was Mr. Coffee banging his kneecap. Anxiety R's like, hey, Pufferfish, I just ordered from you. <laughs> yep, that's Pufferfish. Help a college student out. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> Tiny Pufferfish learned how to cross stitch. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, I'm going to have some how to cross stitch videos going up as well. I gotta figure out how to do this. <laughs> so, 
for those folks that are wanting to get into cross stitch or wanting a refresher course, I'm going to show how I cross stitch. Just keep in mind that any video I do on tutorials is how I do things. It might not be how everybody else does it, but it's how Miss Coffee does. The, the Miss Coffee way. We're just going to say that. It's the Miss Coffee way. I'm, I'm going to have some, um, some videos up on how to do the Miss Coffee way of cross stitching. Because I did get requested for that. So I will have those videos coming up next year as well. Because as you guys know, Miss Coffee is not a one trick pony. No, ma'am. No. Are they full of butter? Are they full of butter? Butter soft socks. What? Didn't you just say too that you needed socks for when I go live? <laughs> Your feet aren't cold. Luckily today was actually 40, so. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold. I'm thinking of starting stamp cross stitch. Uh, crafting and chatting with Eli. Yes, do it. I started one. Me and Crashly actually have the exact same one. So if you guys remember Crashly from last week, she has the count it cross stitch version of this pattern and I have the stamped cross stitch version of this pattern because I have never done a stamped cross stitch which if you're a beginner is a great way to learn because the pattern is already gritted and on your canvas and so far I've gotten these colors here done and I literally this is all being done in the car which is why there's not a lot of progress on it which I'm probably going to work on this after I'm done um, this is what I've done in the car waiting on the kids get home from school. So I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, five and a half colors done. And that, it, it tells you like the colors and the DMC numbers and everything else comes with the floss and everything. You just have to put it on there. So this is stamped cross stitch. Stamped cross stitch is when the pattern is already on your fabric. Now, my homegirl Stitcherista was kind enough to send me some fabric. Because if you guys follow Stitcherista, which of course you do, um... She it, she just finished that sweater weather pattern, and I was like, I'm in love with that pattern. Oh, my God, I have to do it. I bought the pattern, and she sent me fabric that she thinks that would go good with it. And I was like, I trust you. If you think it looks good, it looks good. So she sent me some fabric to do that sweater weather pattern. And then I have my other one here, which is another blank canvas, that I'm going to be doing my uh, King of the Hill on and it's just a baby blue color for because the sky is blue so instead of stitching the sky I will use the fabric for that so yeah so next year get ready because I'm gonna be introduced I'm not introducing new crafts I'm gonna be doing a lot of other craft tutorials for other crafts that I enjoy doing so this I never meant for my channel to just be a one trick pony channel and I don't want to bombard you guys with videos because I realize that doing that, you guys don't have time to watch every single video I put up, which is why I cut back. And my numbers have proven that it's been working. So I will not bombard you guys. Oh, snap. <laughs> he loved it, Becky. His... Thank you. He says, thank you. So the next time I have sushi, can you send Tiny Puffer Fish a picture and a message that says that's a great time? Um, don't send her a picture of sushi and say thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> Crafting and chat with Eli. Search for it on Amazon. That's where I found that one. Literally, I just put in, I actually put in cross stitch. And that little fox pattern came up. And I didn't know it was stamped until the day it got here. And then I went back and looked at the listing and it says stamped cross stitch. So I'm pretty sure if you put stamped cross stitch into the search engine of Amazon... It will have uh, stamped cross stitch patterns come up. And just when you look at them on Amazon, see if it says stamped cross stitch. Now, I'm going to do my tutorial like probably the week the kids go back to school. So you guys will get that video probably. You'll get it before either on or before Saturday, the week of the first of the month so was that not next week so yeah you'll probably get that you'll get it by the fourth of next month you'll get a tutorial on how to cross stitch or at least how i cross stitch because i i've noticed i do things a little bit differently than a lot of the floss tubers i watch and i'm not going to be joining floss tube don't worry so like just like i did tutorials for like when i started coloring how i color uh, i'm going to do a tutorial on how i cross stitch 
And again, keep in mind, it's just how I do things because I know there's going to be people in that comment section being vicious as all get out. That ain't how you do that, Miss Coffee. That's how I do it. How about you mind your business? So that, that's going to be your response. If you come at me with, that's not how you do that. That's how I do it. And it works. Leave me alone. Mind your business. Hello. We're going to call you Art Studio because I cannot say that first name. And I don't want to butcher it all night. Thank you for the Christmas card. Oh, you got it? Oh, yeah. JJ's working on a stamp cross stitch. She's in love. She has been bitten by the bug. Hold on, why'd you stop playing with your friends? So, you guys, now, one of the things I got, the other things that I got, which I think I took it to my room already, I think. I think I did. Nope, I didn't. I got some stuff from uh, Becky's Madness for Crafting, and you guys are going to see a picture of it up on Instagram within the next couple of days. Probably on Christmas Day, to be honest. We got, she got my family matching jammies. And so I, my favorite is Orion's because me and Maggie have the same one. So me and Maggie have matching jammies and then Orion has matching jammies to his dad, except for his says something different. Orion's jammies say, oh snap. And it has a little gingerbread man with a broken foot. <laughs> that is the best thing ever. So yeah, so now Becky's going to get some grandkids in the mail. It's what she always wanted for Christmas. So she's going to take and, you know, get some grandkids in the mail because Maggie's still hyper. The only reason why you don't hear her is because we, we, we lured her in her room with her tablet. We've never had matching jammies, so I'm so excited. It's like that Hallmark stuff. <laughs> I, I've never been able to find matching jammies. And the fact that I'm going to be able to get my husband to wear matching jammies with the rest of the family and take a picture and actually, like, you know, not look like he's going to murder your soul, it's going to be awesome. Oh, come on. Give me one nice, like, just a smirk. Okay, like it doesn't have to be like the I just drank the last bit of purple Kool-Aid and you went looking for it smile. It can just be a normal little, okay, I'm doing this for my family, smirk. Like, we need a picture. Jeremy had, I was highly jealous because Jeremy, okay, I did get Christmas cards in. I got a ton of Christmas cards and they're falling all over the place over here. So I got Christmas cards in. I got Christmas cards. Um, oh, there's my nail file. The woman that sent me the Faber Costell sent me this beautiful Christmas card again. She doesn't want to be named. We're going to respect that. Um, of course, Dave and Ash Inc. And Amber. I don't know why her name is Ash Inc., but, you know, that's her business. Patriotic Beauty sent me, like, an extra Christmas card with, like, that foil in the Like, that, that's the good Christmas card right there. That's, like, the, the Hallmark stuff right there. Um, I got to find the actual card, though, because I'm pretty sure Maggie ran off with it because I found the picture. Maggie had the... Patriotic Beauty included a picture of her family in her Christmas card. And I'm sitting here and I look over and Maggie stole the freaking picture and took it to her room. Okay, those are my Christmas cards from last week. Because I know I got Christmas cards from Jeremy and... Hold on, what is that? Oh, I know what that is. <clears throat> Okay, those are from last week. Where am I? Did she steal my... I think she stole my Christmas cards again, y'all. Did she steal them again? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. I know where I put them. Hold on. Because I also got some new nails from... Uh, my new holiday collection from Creativity by Gidge. You'll be jolly. This is my Color Street girl. Look at that plaid. Good God. And then we got black tie optional. Woo. So there's that. Literally the Christmas cards that I need to mail out are over here. Hey, you'll be a post office and run out of stamps. Okay, I think she did run off with them because they're not over here. What the, what in the world? Seriously, kid. I'll find them. She probably just took them back to her room. Either way. Jeremy sent me a Christmas card with Mary Jane, his kitty cat, and... Oh, I lied. They're right here. 
So we got a Christmas card from the crafty heifer who is Marissa. Y'all, look how cute this Christmas card is. Look how cute this Christmas card is. I want Christmas cards like this. Like, I want my family on a Christmas card. Like, come on now. Yeah, everything ends up in Maggie's room. I can't even tell you the weird. I find the we I found a breadstick under her bed. It was in a plastic bag, but she brought it home from school today, and I went to go say goodnight to her, and she had a breadstick under her bed. We're not going to judge her. I want cute Christmas cards like this. Okay. So I, I want to take pictures with my family and put on Christmas cards for next year. Got Seasons Greed. I think this is from Crafting. Yep, Crafting with Christy sent me this one. So thank you, Crafting with Christy, wherever you are. And then, yeah, there's Patriotic Beauty's card. She sent me a card, and I'm not going to show her family picture because that that if y'all want to see her family, y'all go talk to her, okay? I'm not going to get beat up because y'all want to see her family. But she sent me a card, and she had her family pictures in there. I'm like, my family doesn't take family pictures. I don't know why. We're just not one of those types of families. I want to be one of those types of families, but a lot of the studios aren't studios anymore. Like, there's no actual studios. Now you have to go pay, like, $200,000 to an actual, like, photographer, photographer to take your family pictures. And I'm like, look, I'm not about that life, okay? Like, bring back Picture Me Studios inside of Walmart. I will work the camera, okay? I can do it myself. Just give me the little buzzer. Give me a little kit, the little buzzer for it. Exactly, Cara. That's usually what I do. I'll I'll be frantically looking like, okay, if you guys remember, Laura Law bought me these socks. Y'all remember the Fox socks? Laura Law bought me the socks. Every time I can't find them, I'll be in the middle of searching for them. I will stop dead in my tracks and go, you know what? Why am I even playing? I know they in Maggie's room. Sure enough, I go in Maggie's room the other night. She had them on her feet sleep. Yeah, like they took out all the photography studios and now you have to go to like the photography, like actual photographer house. To get photos done. And they charge, they upcharge a little bit because of, like, you know, their fees and stuff like that. Which I understand because, again, I used to do photography, so I completely understand. But, like, I'm not trying to spend an arm and a leg. You know how hard it is to get Maggie and Orion to smile at the same time? Good God. See, Minna was brought up with, with pictures. Because when she was a baby, I worked at Picture Me Studios inside of Walmart where we lived. So every three months, like clockwork, she was getting pictures. So Minna is always photography ready. Maggie and Orion... Orion, yeah, he can take a picture. He will make a weird face for the first two, but after those first two, he's good. That Maggie, though, that Maggie. If you don't believe me, after live tonight, I am going to put up a picture. Uh, the, I'm going to put up a set of pictures of what it took to get a cute picture of Maggie and Orion and a picture of them in the jammies that Becky sent. I must have taken like eight pictures because Maggie kept making all kinds of weird faces, okay? So if you follow me on Instagram or if you don't, look for Miss Crochet and Coffee on Instagram. And right after live, I'm going to go post all the pictures it took to get the one good picture I got. And she still was looking sideways. Night, patriotic beauty. Thanks so much for coming to hang out. Uh-oh, baby wipe time. You just sent Mr. Coffee his sock. He going to love y'all. For sending him warm socks. You snacking while crafting? You gotta get snacks that aren't greasy. Okay, I'm on number seven now. You gotta get snacks that aren't greasy. Yeah, you gotta put it off to the side. Like, I have a whole little tray over here that I put snacks and stuff on. Actually, it was Mr. Coffee's tray. I just kind of stole it from him. But we ain't gonna talk about that. Maggie looks cute no matter what. Oh, yeah, she... But the thing is, don't tell her she's cute, though. Because the moment you tell her she's cute... That's how she knows she got you. <laughs> like, I don't remember who sent Maggie the hair bow the sh with the shark on it. But again, thank you to everyone who sent anything to me. Because again, you guys didn't have to do that. But it is greatly appreciated. But Maggie's favorite thing right now is to whoever sent the bow with the shark on it. Oh my God. Maggie lost her sh the other day when she saw that bow. And she was like... <gasps> Mom, she's been wearing it literally every day since. Hey, Tracy, how's it going? Hi, Abby. Matt and Laura put up that video the other day of the dolphin in her backyard. And yeah, if y'all don't know, Laura's got dolphins in her backyard. So if you like dolphins, Laura, Laura's the place to go. Um, Matt, Laura put up that video of the dolphins and Maggie's seen it on the TV. 
And Maggie went, oh, Mommy, did she get a shark? I'm like, no, honey, it's a dolphin, baby. It's a dolphin. She's like, no, it's a shark. She was so mad. And she went off very sadly singing Baby Shark with her hair bow. <laughs> No, go ahead, Mama Bear Diamonds. She wants to share a discount with you guys. Hi, Art by Mar Mariella. Um, Mama Bear Diamond wants to share a discount code with you guys for her shop if you guys buy something from her shop. Yeah, Maggie loves it too. Laura be cheating on Shamu with Flippa. <laughs> Maggie mad at you, Laura. Don't don't Maggie buy her now. She mad. She thought she was getting a shark. I was like, ain't nobody say nothing about no shark, Maggie. I'm like, how is she supposed to take a picture of the shark? What if it bite her? She goes, tell her to bite it back. That's not how this works. You don't just go to a shark and go, you bit me. Let me bite you back real quick. I'm like, that's not how things work. But in Maggie's head, if a, a, a shark bites Laura, Laura can just bite it back. But then she's heard me talk to Laura enough where that's probably true. 15% <laughs> off until Christmas with code Miss, Miss Coffee. Aw, I'm a code, you guys. Go use me as a code. It's the only fun time to use Miss Coffee is when you're using her as a code. So if you're watching this on the replay up until the Christmas day of 2019, use me as a code. I'm a code. Code Miss Coffee. We're going to repeat code Miss Coffee. I feel special. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a hot mess. I don't care. Judge me if you will, folks. Somebody, hold up. Hold up, Mama Bear. Mr. Coffee is rubbing my arm with his salt. They are soft. They're full of butter. There you go, Mama Bear Diamonds. If you can link your shop for these fine folks. Are they, delicious? Are they nice and toasty on your piggies? Yeah, for me, that's not like it's that cold today. Oh, that's right. It really isn't that cold outside today. Oh, okay, we're still doing good. We're still doing good, folks. Oh, I was wondering why my chat wasn't going. <laughs> I need more drill trays. I'm all out now. So if you guys uh, have those white, oh no, the white, the small white drill trays with the boat, I think it is, with the funnel, JJ is asking for those. So if you go over to my group, uh, she has something up in the group for it. Yeah, Becky just got him some sockies. Aw, thank you, Becky. But believe me, Laura, he needs more than one pair, okay? I don't want him to wear these out to the point where they get a hole in them. It's North Dakota. It's cold up here, okay? We have, we have one pair of feet. But we need multiple pairs of socks, Laura. It's okay. <laughs> think you, yeah, I think you underestimate how cold it gets here. He just got them, Laura. JJ, send me a message. I have a ton of those trays. There you go. Message Kelly Head. I see a candy cane. I seen a candy cane. Hey, Di Diane. Hello, welcome. Where can you get the big white ones? Amazon. To get them to you really quick, if you have Amazon Prime, you can go, uh, I, I believe Star Wars sells them too. But if you search big white diamond painting tray on Amazon, they should be on there. I was rubber ducking woman. I missed. Well, I'm sorry that your bath got in the way of you hearing me talk. Jeez. That duck ain't that in, it ain't that duck ain't that cute anyways. <laughs> you got your first stamp cross stitch. Nice. Hi, Kathleen. Kathleen says, I got a ton of those trays. Where do I send them? Dude, JJ, you better get these people's name. If you're in my group, um, could JJ uh, put up another post about it in the group? And if you guys are in the group, Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray. Uh, just comment in there and she'll message you guys to get those trays off you. I'm sh 
Blah, okay. <laughs> Just respawn in the post so I can find. JJ, mark the post as an announcement. That's fine. You know how fun it is to open gifts afterwards? Cindy, I've been waiting for you to come in here. Help, my canvas has a spot with no tackiness. What do I use? Baby wipe, let it air dry. <laughs> she got a mermaid tail. So, Cindy, I believe it was you that wrote a comment on one of my, my videos this week. Where I think it was the whipping chat, and you said about what if I move and my neighbors from upstairs become my neighbors in the new place. One, I almost I I spit out coffee when I read that because I was like, oh, that's a thing. Oh my god, that could be a thing. Oh god, no. You're sold out of of tails now, Mama Bear. <laughs> Sorry, Mama Bear. You're not gonna have much inventory. Better stock up. Good night, Amber. Thank you so much for hanging out. Out. Why are you sliding across the floor? Your what? Your picture? Well, go get it. They can't see you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Probably should have warned you about it. I'm surprised Rachel didn't warn you about it. Rachel, oh, she made the Grinch, y'all. Uh, Rachel warned, uh, distracted by diamonds about it. But I'm, I'm shocked she didn't warn you about that. Uh, there's a little thing with people and buying stuff <laughs> we got we got the we got the addiction real bad here we got the shakes <laughs> i told y'all shell's gonna be like mother hubbard <laughs> for real because you don't often see like the really nice big uh uh cover minders so that's really nice. Like, if all her cover miners are like this, yes. And actually, Mama Bear, do you have any gray ones like this with the pushing kitty cat? Because if you do, I, I need one of those. Good night, Diamond Artworks. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Have yourself a very merry... I told my, my parents today that they're going to be like home alone because my niece Sarita was running around the house as everybody's trying to pack up to get ready for their big trip tomorrow because they're driving from uh, Pennsylvania to South Carolina then to Alabama to go visit family for the holidays. Mama said she ain't cooking, so her excuse is we're going to travel. Um, so... My niece Sarita's running around while everybody else is getting their stuff together. And I'm like, it's, it's like home alone all over again. <laughs> and my dad's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, y'all going to end up leaving her at the house. She's going to tear up stuff. Robber's going to come in. The porch pirate's going to be trying to steal the packages. And she's going to be setting up booby traps and stuff. It's the holiday season. And Santa Claus. Y'all better stop. <laughs> Laura got me singing this song all week. Actually, no, I, I start singing that song the moment it's the, the day after Thanksgiving, that song comes out. And for some reason, I just like singing it. But my, that's the sad part. My favorite song is the Lego uh, 12 Pains of Christmas. And Laura, I think of you every time now I hear it because there's a part in there where one of the pains of Christmas is dealing with my in-laws. And at the end of like when they get to number 12 and they're counting them down. She goes, she's a witch. I hate her. <laughs> it is a very New York accent. And I was like, oh, my God, it's Laura. Oh, too dark on the glitter. Hold on. Does she have a great one? The porch pirate video. Oh, God. Oh, you ran yourself out of resin. Well, I hope you're getting some more soon. <laughs> y'all y'all take it easy on her, but not real easy, just a little easy. <laughs> so if you're watching this on the replay, go check out Mama Bear Diamonds on Etsy. <laughs> Mine is that cranberry sauce song. I don't think I've heard that one, Sariba. I'm going to have to now. 
Hey, Drea, how you feeling, girl? How are you and the hubs doing? I ain't gonna ask if you're ready because ain't nobody ready for Christmas. But are you getting ready? We got we got five days, folks. Five days. Get those last minute gifts in. Usually I'm that person that you get the gifts after the holidays. But this year I think two people got gifts before the holidays. So I was very proud of myself. Even though one was an electronic gift anyway. It was a pattern for Becky. But it was a pattern that goes well with her channel. So like she can she can be cross stitching it and like do a whip and chat or something. Becky, are you gonna cross stitch on your channel? She's like, Miss Coffee, don't put me on a spot. Oh, hey Robin, how's it going? She said, No, don't take it easy on me. Resin is expensive. <laughs> You're doing okay? All right. Oh, you are? Nice. I am a Riri. I just ordered from Mama Bear's and did not use a darn coat. Oh, snap. Been sleeping. Do you read in your sleep? You probably read in your sleep. If y'all don't know, Robin loves reading. Robin loves to read. And Robin's a speed reader. So if y'all want to know about a book, y'all go ask Robin. Thank you, JJ. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you to my mods tonight. Oh, for the love of God, Christmas has just snuck up on me this year. Tree going up tomorrow. <laughs> <Don't judge. laughs> I did not be today having withdrawal. Why didn't you be today? See, a lot of people do more than one craft, okay? A lot of people do more than one craft. And like I said, I never meant for my channel to be a one craft pony. So there will be other crafts shown. And if you're not into that craft, you know, again, you don't have to watch it. And I'll make sure that it doesn't interfere with my diamond paintings and stuff like that. But you will see other crafts. And for the cross stitching, I think I'm just going to show finishes, works in progresses. Uh, it's not going to be like a floss tube thing. But you'll see that type of stuff, you know, whenever I feel froggy and remember that hey by the way I should probably show them something I've done since I haven't completed anything this week so yeah I work at a school library gave out Christmas ornaments today nice hi D hi Amanda my tree goes up tomorrow too <laughs> Amanda says they're just like Christmas when next Wednesday let me get this tree up real quick y'all Take a picture of the tree and put it where the tree's supposed to go and then put all the gifts underneath the, the picture and then when you get all the gifts underneath it, just lay the picture on top of the tallest gift and be like, there's our tree. There's about to be a lot of Charlie Brown Christmases in the house tonight. <laughs> Trying out too many crafts. Hi, Created by Rosie. I'm totally... I totally am finishing making a custom bag from hell, so it's in timeout, and I'm DPing. Oh, see, and that's the other thing. When your crafts misbehave, and they ain't doing like you want them to do, you got to put them in a timeout. You got to put them in a timeout. I was so mad about that Royal Diamond painting, I put Diamond painting in a timeout all week. <laughs> like, none of y'all going to get done this week. I'm going to do all the other things. And I, I just left and went and did all the other things. Ain't nothing wrong with putting them in a timeout. dog proof tree y'all they she, daisy still batting those christmas ornaments around like they baseballs right jeremy you don't know what's coming or going left and right side to side all the craft any craft i'm looking for the indian beating again like i was i i was watching waiting for that to come back and then i was like hold up no he said about paint by number paint by number coming back then jeremy talked about now i got my oh hoo hoo brush tips now i'm coloring now jeremy doing coloring then Jeremy's like, nah, let me show them how to make some food real quick. You got to make snacks for diamond painting. There you go, Jeremy. You're, you're making snacks for crafts. This is a good snacky food for whenever you're crafting. Try this recipe. Like, I was just like, Jeremy, you going to put the sausage and the bacon on there like that? Come on, Jeremy. I feel like we need to have a retreat at Jeremy's house. <laughs> Jeremy cook all the ladies the food. 
Jer- Jeremy's family come over. Are there 50 women in your house? Yeah, man. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go take care of this stuff in the house over here with these ladies. Hey, ladies. Yes, Jeremy. Like that. Y'all know that's how it would go. Y'all know that's how it would go. Jeremy pimping. Jeremy is the pimp of the diamond painting world. So, like, he has all the ladies in his house. He's making us food and snacks. And we diamond painting and coloring and doing all the crafts. He got crafts up all over his house. All the outlets taken up for art lights and light pads. <laughs> Take a party bus to Jeremy's house. We sure can. He lived right there in California. Oh, snap. What up, good old boy? How's it going? How's the family? I bet them kids ready for Christmas, ain't they? I miss having warm Christmases. <laughs> I laughed because my sister had to go walk to pay one of her bills the other day. And she was talking about it was cold because it was 50 degrees. I'm like, girl, shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut your face right now. Shut the hole in your face. She 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 did that. It was negative one when she did that. And she's like, it's 50 degrees out here. I'm like, chick, it's negative one outside. There's not even a real temperature outside. Everyone good. Good to hear, good old boy. Oh, hi, Tippy Joy. Hi, Cheryl and Tippy Joy. You know, I need some coffee in my life. Mm. Yeah, see, the, the dogs won't knock the tree down. And I even tested it, which we might start wrapping gifts here soon because I put Mr. Coffee's gifts under the tree to see if the dogs would mess with them. Killian sniffed it and was like, nah, I'm good. He walked away. Daisy just looked at me and rolled over on her back because she wanted belly rub. Daisy... Does anybody else have a dog that's, like, obsessed with belly rubs? Like, every time you go next to Daisy, she will roll over on her belly for you to rub her belly. I'm doing good, Cheryl and Tippy Joy. How's Tippy Joy doing? And I'm like, half the time I look at her and I'm like, look, Daisy, I'm not about the belly rub life tonight. Not tonight, Daisy. And she just gives me the sad puppy dog eyes. And I'm like, Daisy, look. We've, we've been through this before. You don't got to be about this life. You're better than this. And she doesn't care because in her mind, she's not better than this. So she just rolls over and she's like, rub my belly. Rub it. You can pet her back. And she's like one of those scared goats. She just falls over and is just like, <laughs> I'm like, no, Daisy. <laughs> yeah, my pit bull loves them. Yeah, like a can of coin, shake it around the cat when they get near the tree, they hate loud sounds they will get the message oh snap my cat loves belly rubs cats like belly rubs i had a cat i had i've had a couple of cats before and none of them like belly rubs as a matter of fact the one cat we had named leo if you would rub his belly he would bite you <laughs> he didn't care who you were he was biting you she's telling you that you're her mom i know i'm her mom but she ain't got to tell me every 30 seconds though like if i walk past her to go to the bathroom she'll roll over why are you rolling over, Daisy? You're better than this. Like, don't, let's not do this. Cats are like, here's my tummy. I am cute. So you can, you know, scratch it. They go scratch it. They're all like, I hate it. <laughs> I don't like it. You are allowed three rubs of my belly. I feel like that's what cats say when you they turn their bellies up to you. You are allowed three scratches and then leave me be. No nope. Well, nope. Two. That was four. I'm going to bite you. <laughs> you it's come on, bro. Plus two, plus three, plus more than three, not four. <laughs> more than three, not four. <laughs> oh, the holy hand grenade. Oh, the holy hand grenade. Night, night, termites. What? Good night, Cindy. <laughs> I was like, who got termites? Do I need to clean the house? Good old boy says hi, Mr. Coffee. He says howdy, howdy. He over here playing Destiny. Oh, welcome back, one virtuous woman. Every time I see your name now, I want to crochet something. I don't even know what I want to crochet, but I just want to crochet something. For those of y'all who don't know or who like to crochet, one virtuous woman uh, does crochet alongs live on her channel Saturday nights. Um, right now they are crocheting a blanket. 
I've been watching this one because I I didn't have I was testing a pattern for the magazine when she started it, but their next one is gonna be I think she said an amagurumi, and I was just like okay I will try it but I'm telling you now one virtuous woman don't laugh at my amagurumi okay when it comes out with three heads and four eyes and fifteen legs, don't laugh okay because I I'm telling you I suck so bad at amagurumi, but I will I will try it because I want to do I want to crochet along I want to feel included. <laughs> I swear he is a big, he is part dog. The cat? <laughs> My cat only lets me rub his belly. Anyone else goes near him. He's a little ball of fury. Oh, not. Not the kitty cat. Oh, have you have you watched her pitbull? Yeah, she's pretty quick with the hook. Miss Coffee, my daughter moved back in a couple weeks ago. She left her husband. She is so much happier now. That's awesome to hear. It's, we're going into 2020. You got to leave that baggage in 2020. All that bad baggage you got. Leave it in 2019. Don't bring that into 2020. You got a man that ain't no good. Leave him in 2019. Let let him sit right there. And remember, he's an ex for a reason. Don't go asking why. This ain't an algebra equation. Just finished doing the video for the Addy Twisted Ear Warmer. For real? Snap! Yes. When is that going up? Cause you know I got the I got the generic Addy, but don't worry. I like it enough that I'm gonna spend the coin on the real one because I want that little one too, so I can make some socks and stuff. And I've been watching all kinds of videos on it. Yes. Just say you're making a monster or an alien. Is yeah, that's what it usually looks like. Odd but nice. I'm not even I'm not even joking you. I'm gonna show y'all my progress from this crochet along. And y'all gonna laugh, but don't laugh at my face. Just laugh behind my back, okay? Because it's gonna look bad. It's gonna look pretty bad. Two hundred pounds of ugly fat. That's great. <laughs> Hello, diamond paint with anxiety. How's it going? Now I don't want to color. Now I'm going to just keep working on this after I'm done. <laughs> Someone with a name close to mine. Yep. We have anxiety art adventures and diamond painting with anxiety. Everybody got anxiety. We just anxiety. Not putting up videos every day. I had anxiety all week. Oh my God. I was like, oh my God, there's so many videos. There's tutorials on how to cross stitch. There's tutorials on how to use the Addy machine. There's tutorials on the Addy machine. I learned how to make a hat. <laughs> I'm gonna make hats. <laughs> now one one virtuous woman got tutorials up on how to make the twisted ear warmer. I gotta go cop that video because I gotta learn how to make those. Hi Melinda, how are you? Buttercup did some diamond painting stickers. Did she? Did she like it? She's so stinking cute. Buttercup, you guys, if y'all don't know, Buttercup is her daughter, and she is adorable, and you guys will see her when she goes live, because she'll come in and, like, <laughs> she'll come in and talk to her mom while, while she's doing the, the crochet. <laughs> She'll be like, that's a weird name. That's not a weird name. What if they think Buttercup's a weird name? <laughs> she goes, but it's not. It's my name. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting multiples down at once. What I'll do is if I don't have the same number and like right now I have three on my my pen. If I don't have the same, if I don't have three in a row somewhere, I'll just put down one somewhere and then two others somewhere else. With the new YouTube rules, don't want to lose your channel. Oh, the the COPPA thing. I got warrants. Well, that's the thing, too. They've already started marking videos. So if she goes back in and sees that any of her videos got marked, um, that'll tell her that those videos are the ones that she wants to watch out for. Just off work. Whoop, whoop. It is the weekend, folks. 
the weekend before Christmas, and y'all know, y'all be safe out there if y'all going shopping. I'm telling you right now, because the closer to Christmas we get, the crazier people get. Because you know there's those last minute people that angry that they waited to the last minute, and they're going to take out all that anger on you. I, I do not have to leave this house again until January 2nd. Do you think I'm leaving this house? I probably will, maybe once. Other than that, no. Because I did notice today that they did put up the tree in the... I don't even know what that's called. It's over by the highway. Which has probably been up by for a while. But I'm just now... see. I just saw it this morning when I went out to the store. Be careful going grocery shopping because now those last minute people out getting them groceries too because that's going to be me. Angry with the shopping cart because people won't get out of my way. I'm going to beat up old granny for some pineapple slices for my ham. I need these pineapple slices. <laughs> I always wait till the last minute I have to because that normally is when I have the money to get stuff. Right? This, this year we were smart. We paid our rent a month early. And just kept paying extra on it so that we in for so for the month of December we didn't have to pay rent and we used the money for our rent to buy the kids' as gifts. The only problem is the things that Minna wanted, one, were super expensive because she's 13. But they also the one item was sold out. So I literally have to wait until after Christmas to get the one item that she wanted. And I don't want to go buying her a bunch of stuff that she didn't ask for when she specifically asked for things. So I have to wait until after Christmas to get her stuff, which sucks, but she'll at least still get it. Plus, with as many Christmases as she has, she won't notice. <laughs> she she won't notice. She'll see it. She'll see a package coming in the mail and be like, "Oh look, a package." The six. Hi Kim, how's it going? EJ says I give throat chops for free, right? I'm up there laughing because one virtuous woman was in the yarn store and she's like, y'all get me out of here. Get me out of here. And I'm like, uh-uh. Get all the things. Get all the Clear the shelf, girl. Get all the things. And she was getting all the cute yarn too. Like, I was like, girl, I need to go, I need to go back to Minot and go to the yarn store because they have a Hobby Lobby in Minot and that's two hours away and it's easy. I can easily con Mr. Coffee into going because all I gotta be do is go, hey, you wanna go to Taco Bell? Boom. We in Minot. Then I'm staying home after this weekend, right? I, I, unless it's necessary, I'm not leaving this house. Now, I do want to take the kids to go see the gigantic tree by the highway. Other than that, which they decorated, which is why I want them to go see it. Other than that, no, I'm not leaving this house. Nope. Ain't no point. All the stuff I need is in this house. I don't need nothing out of this house. All my Christmas shopping is done. I got the last bit of stuff in from uh, my parents today because they sent stuff for the kids. And for me and Mr. Coffee, which I already opened my gift, mine's was the adding machine. But they already sent all the stuff that they are going to send. Uh, Mr. Coffee's mom sent some stuff, but it probably won't get here until after Christmas, which is fine. But all essentially everything that needs to be wrapped is here and ready to be wrapped. I got wrapping paper, I got tape, I got all the things. So we's good. Your wife loves Taco Bell too, good old boy? Yeah, Mr. Coffee's like obsessed with it because I think it's mostly because we don't live close to one anymore. When we lived in Pennsylvania, they had just opened up a Taco Bell, what, two minutes from our house? So we could go get tacos whenever we wanted. Now that we live here, it's two hours from the house, so we have to make it worth our while to go drive all the way to Minot for Taco Bell. And usually it's, hey, you want to go to the craft store? But first, you got to pass all those naughty stores to get there. <laughs> Aw, back from snuggling with the baby. Oh, yeah, one virtuous woman. They usually are on sale on at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I think sometimes you can use coupons on them, too, to do a double discount. So you look out for them coupons. My daughter froze her debit card, but her paycheck was in the wallet.
Yep, yoga pants, t-shirt, zero makeup is the plan. Merry Christmas to me. Right? I don't wear makeup anyway, but I'm just saying, like, sweatpants, ratty t-shirt. Until Christmas Day, I'm going to get dressed in the jammies that Becky sent me. And then I'm going to wear those all day. All day. I'm even going to be nice and walk the dogs once for Mr. Coffee. And I'm going to wear my pajamas outside. I don't care. Don't judge me. It's cold out here. I'm going to have a jacket on anyway. You can't see them. You'll see my pants. Hey, adult coloring for UFOs. Yeah, Jeremy made breakfast pizza on his channel. So if you if you want to go cop Jeremy over there making breakfast pizza, go check out Jeremy's channel. He put bacon and sausage on it. I'm going to give y'all that little spoiler. Because <laughs> if you can't tell, Miss Coffee is a little bit of a meat eater. So yeah, when I saw that, I was all about that life. Wrapping gifts and crafting for me this weekend. Are you all in the States? Nope. Well, I am. But, like, people like Pippa. I know Pippa's not in the States. And there's somebody else that's not in the States. Who else is it? There's a couple of people. Hi, Tina. My mom sent my grandson a five-pound gummy bear. It cost $12 just to send. Oh, God. Can I have a conversation with her to send me a five-pound gummy bear? Because I love gummy bears. <laughs> Also, the real MVP tonight, the person that sent me those Skittles, good God. We'll, we'll get like the dinner tray, put it on the like big ham, slice it up, serve it. <laughs> and Angel's mom says, me. Anxiety art. Oh, that's right, anxiety art, because your name is Laura, and we have a Laura Laws craft corner. Oh, guess what? Paint with Diamonds is sending me a kit to review. I'm stoked. Be careful. Be careful. But that is awesome, though. Congrats. You ever had chocolate-covered gummy bears? Oh, my God. I have never had chocolate. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, my God. You just blew my mind. I now need to experience this. Where should I get these chocolate-covered gummy bears? What? It's not allergy death candy. I don't die. I just get sick. There's a difference. And if I eat it on a Friday, then I can spend the whole weekend miserably sick. And then I'll be yeah. I'll be okay by Monday. Yeah. Well, it's not that bad. On Monday, you be here. Hold up. You don't want to take care of me when I'm sick? Huh? You're a turd. All right, so they use a double-sided adhesive. Um, so you're going to want to watch out for what we call bubbles, which is where the canvas, the glue essentially uh, bubbles on the canvas, or rivers where the canvas completely separates from the glue and you get this big bubble in your canvas. Um, and because of the temperature, because I know you live out in the country, so I know it's cold. Um, because of the temperature, it will affect the double-sided adhesive. Now, technically, it's not something that they can help because that's just what happens to the adhesive because essentially it's like double-sided tape. So uh, let it sit. When you get it in, let it sit for a day in your house to acclimate to your weather before you do your unboxing because uh, if you open it too quickly, it will create bubbles and stuff in the canvas. I finished two colors, 10 more to go, done for the night. Nice. She called public, but nobody turned it in, of course. Oh, for the stolen wallet. You're welcome. They're not a horrible company. I didn't have the best experience with them, but that's not to say that you won't have a good experience. So, like I said, just make sure you let it sit in your house for a day. Just leave it. Just how they sent it, leave it right in the package like they sent it. Leave it in your house for a day or two. Do your unboxing, but make sure that when you unroll it, you unroll it. Look at your diamonds and then work with the canvas because you're going to want it to relax a little bit before you uh, go to open it. Because if you don't let it relax, that will also create the bubbles opening it really fast. Ain't nobody say nothing about Koi, Laura. It's 
Fair, hey, Sapphira's mama. Maybe have a look by typing in town in Facebook to see if there's a community page. Let her community know what happened and warn others that there is a thief in their community. That's true, uh, Sapphira's mama. Oh, yeah, Sapphira's mama doesn't live in the U.S. either. Royal Diamond Painting is not a bad company. That was just a bad canvas. Royal Diamond Painting actually is not... They're, they're actually a really good company, but I just really don't like double-sided adhesive, which is why I kept making it a point to say I, I hate double-sided adhesive, not the company, because I don't have a problem with Royal Diamond Painting. They have some awesome images, and like you saw at the end of that video, if you made it to the end, I did talk to Haley... And she's one of the co-owners of Royal Diamond Paintings. And she said about them possibly going to pour glue in the new year. Uh, but that's another one of those sites, though, because she did also admit that she does still have some images that are probably stolen artwork. So you're going to want to use that website 10i to make sure that it's not stolen. Hey, G's Tiny Toes Nursery. We're going to call you G. G in the house. And it's weird, too, because for me, the first thing I thought of was places like Everyday Deals. Everyday Deals, I think every once in a while, you will get a kit from Everyday Deals that has uh, double-sided adhesive. But 90% of their kits are poured glue. And it's like, now if they can do it and charge $4 for a canvas, why can't some of these other companies do it? Like, poured glue is obviously the way to go. You know how many awesome companies we would have if they use poured glue instead of being cheap and jacking up their prices with the double-sided adhesive? Like, name a company that you've had a bad experience with that had poured glue or that had double-sided adhesive that the problem could have been solved using poured glue. And I probably should order from Paint with Diamonds again. I need to redo that video because uh, it's, been, it's been almost a year since I've ordered from them, I think. I started my first DPs with paint with diamonds. I had popping drills galore, but pretty pricey. They are pretty pricey. I rolled those drills still in frame. Then I switched to DAC and I'm in heaven. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the price difference is. Exactly, because places like paint with, or not paint with diamonds, uh, everyday deals, uh, Annie Buy, Peggy Buy, those little side companies in China, they use poured glue. Like this canvas is poured glue. They use poured glue and they can charge you $4 for a canvas. But then you go somewhere like Paint with Diamonds or Home Craft Craftology or Oli and they have double-sided tape or even any place on AliExpress, they have double-sided tape and it's like how much more would it cost you to use poured glue instead of double-sided adhesive? How much more in sales could you make if you didn't have half the problems with rivers, bubbles, canvas coming torn up? Because with poured glue, as you guys already know too, poured glue is a lot more malleable. So you can crinkle these canvases up. You can fold them and it doesn't affect the glue like a double-sided adhesive will. Paint with diamonds, the, the kit that I got was poured glue. <clears throat> DIY Moon Shop started with double-sided adhesive, but once she noticed the issues with the bubbles, she switched to pour glue. Yvonne, so did Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club, when they started out, they started out with pour or with uh, double-sided adhesive, and then they switched to pour glue, I believe. How do you fix it? Hi, Inspired by Sophie. You take a X-Acto knife or a switchblade or whatever, a, a knife, something sharp. Don't cut yourself. And you slice it. And then you lay your cover paper over it and smooth it out. That essentially releases the pressure off the canvas. Because that's what it is. It's the pressure of the canvas. It, it shrunk. And the tape didn't have anywhere to go. So instead of like shrinking with the canvas, it just popped up. 
So you cut that slice into it, put your cover paper back on it, rub it flat and let it sit for a few minutes. Even if you put a book or something heavy on it so it can adhere back to the canvas and then work on it. How do you tell the difference between pour glue and double-sided adhesive? All right, so pour glue is very obvious because one, with double-sided adhesive, you can see the adhesive coming off the sides of your canvas. So you can tell where the canvas starts and begins with the double-sided adhesive. With pour glue, 90% of the time, I'm going to say 90 because Craft, Crafty Mint on Amazon uses poured glue, but they use a different type of mounted glue. And he uses like a white paper on his. It's like a, a parchment paper that he uses on his. But every other company that you see with poured glue will have a clear cover so that you can see the image. Welcome back, Jamie. Yeah, so the biggest noticeable thing about it is with a pour glue method, you will see a clear cover on your canvas. With a double-sided adhesive, you will see an opaque cover, which is the cover that comes with the blue little words on the, like going horizontal on it or something. It'll be blue or red or whatever color it is. It, it'll, it'll be an opaque cover, so you won't be able to see through to the canvas, and you have to lift up the pieces to be able to see what it is. Pour glue will use a clear cover, which... I want to do an experiment, which I talked about this with somebody before, but I, I never did it because I didn't have a canvas big enough to do it. I want to buy, I might do this with my Paint with Diamonds canvas. I'm going to buy a Paint with Diamonds canvas next week, and then when it gets in here, I'm going to take a piece of clear cover, like, like from this, because by the time that comes in, I'll have this done. I'm going to take a clear cover and put it on double-sided adhesive to see if it has the same results as opaque covers. Because I'm wondering if putting that clear cover on the the, the double-sided adhesive, I'm wondering, one, will it mess it up? Two, will it help decrease getting bubbles and rivets in your canvas? Because I know not everybody can afford canvases like Diamond Art Club or Die Moon Shop or Crafty Mint and stuff like that. I know some people rely on AliExpress. And I don't want to exclude those people on my channel because I don't like poured glue or double-sided adhesive. So I want to run some experiments, and I'll show you guys on the channel the experiments. I want to see if there's a way to keep these canvases, like right now, every canvas in my closet that is double-sided tape is ruined. Ruined. They're all riddled in bubbles because of the temperature change. Because it's it gets hella cold here in North Dakota, and with the temperature changing and then using heaters in the house, that tape is essentially shrinking and expanding. When it does that, that's what creates the bubbles. And that's why they tell you to try to lay them underneath your mattress or somewhere flat where they won't get ruined. And what you could do to also help this, if you're going to lay it under your mattress, but you have like a box spring and it's not necessarily completely flat, take like if you get a box, take the box and flatten it. Put your canvases, like sandwich your, sandwich your canvas in between it like an Oreo. The boxes are the brown. Your canvases are the white of the Oreo. Put that underneath your mattress. Sleep on it. That could also help you get or keep from getting those bubbles and rivets in your canvases. Have you tried doing your own pour glue? Who, Misty? Me. Karina, you'll take my garbage? <laughs> Message me, Karina. I'll take you up on that. She was probably like, oh, oh, God, I'm just playing. I'm not playing. Message me. Closet space. <laughs> Mr. Coffee Mr. Call says he needs closet space. No, I said I hope she got the closet space. Uh, it's not that. It's only getting bottom back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not only does it flatten those canvases, but it helps reduce the risk of the bubbles happening because it's flat. All right, Karina, you message me, and I'm going to pull out a couple of the diamond paintings I have in the closet, and they're all yours. I'll mail them out after Christmas because I know I won't get to the post office before the post, because I know our post office is closed uh, Christmas Eve and Wednesday. So I'll get to it after Christmas, but I'll let, I, I will let you know, and I'll send you a tracking number.
Because then that's, that that alleviates more room for uh, other canvases coming. <laughs> Mr. Coffee thought he was getting his closet space back. Because for those of you who don't know, I keep my double-sided adhesive canvases in my closet on pant hangers. And I smush them between clothes and Mr. Clo Mr. Coffee's side of the closet because his clothes are heavier than mine. So my side of the closet is craft supplies. His side is for his clothes and my canvases. So he would like to have his closet space back at some point, just not right now. Heard someone using some kind of glue. I'll have to look it up. Some kind of glue. I have mine stored between two pieces of cardboard between the mattresses. It works great. Well, there you go. See? Have a Merry Christmas, Jamie. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. Mine should be okay then. Have been in a portfolio with a couple of totes on them. They should be okay. Yep, they should be fine. Because, Nana, the pant hangers aren't mine. They're, they're the kids' pant hangers. Like whenever I buy clothes for the kids and they get those little plastic pant hangers. No. They get those little plastic pant hangers. I steal those. Sweatpants don't come on pant hangers. <laughs> they do make fancy high dollar sweatpants. I have a pair of $40 sweatpants in my drawer right now. My mom bought them. You know, I didn't buy them. I ain't buying $40 sweatpants. Walmart sells sweatpants for $10. I ain't buying $40 sweatpants. Mom bought those for my birthday the year before last. Good night, Tracy. Thank you so much for hanging out. For real? One Virtuous Woman. I'll hook you up with some Diamond Art Clubs for a custom tumbler. If y'all didn't know... One Virtuous Woman also makes those custom tumblers like Extreme Designs does. Oh, girl. Yes. Yes. Oh, I got a couple of good canvases I, I, I know that you're going to like. You got Color Street in today, Shannon? Yes. I just took mine off. I got to figure out which ones to put on next. Oh, yes. I'm going to hook you up with some Diamond Art Clubs. I'll get you all kinds of canvases, girl. And you live in the U.S. too, so I, I'm, I'm all about that life. I got tons of boxes in there. I'm about to be packing up boxes. <laughs> you alright over there? Fun. Oh, sweet. I'll go check them out. Jill says, I want a tumbler. Yeah, one virtuous woman. Are you you're you're not on Instagram. Are you on you're on Facebook? I think I tried to join your group. Now wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Anxiety art, what's up? You got like all the diamond art clubs. And you want a mug and a hat. I can make you a mug and a Oh, I can't make the mug. I can buy the mug. What's wrong, Daisy? Did you lose your ball? Y'all, Daisy hit me in the kneecap and I almost hyperextended my kneecap. Jesus. No, Daisy. No, no. You can save them with your tumbler. <laughs> Mug time. I, I told you I'm buying the mug on Monday. I am buying the mug on Monday and you're going to have to message me. Message me on Instagram, Art Anxiety, because I know you're on Instagram. Message me on Instagram with your address and I will have it sent out to you. Because I'm going to have it sent directly from Shutterfly straight to your house. Listen, don't be giving up on your Chuck Norris one. I ain't giving up my Chuck Norris ones. Yeah, I'm in your group. Yep. So I will I will get a hold of you and I will go through the inventory of what I have, which I'm telling you right now is a lot. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a lot in there. Um, but I will go through the inventory that I have, let you pick out a couple. We'll we'll hook up for a cup. Yes. I, I girl, I got you. I got you. Miss Coffee. Hi, Lin. Linka? What is a tumbler? What is it used for? A tumbler is, is actually something like this. Now, this is one I got from a different person. This one comes from Extreme Designs. Uh, Nana of Seven Crafts. It's her daughter. Uh, she has a page on Facebook, which if Nana of Seven Crafts is here, could you link your daughter's uh, Facebook? Or could somebody link Extreme Designs? This this is kind of like one of the tumblers. 
And this one just has like that little emoji that I use for my channel. And then it says uh, Miss Crochet and Coffee. But a tongue's a little bit smaller. Yeah, like a Yeti cup. Which my mom called me. I called my mom this week and she's still talking about that, that bingo cup she got. That's right, Catherine. Laura, or art, anxiety art. I need that. I need that autograph. Don't forget that autograph. Keep in mind, I'm not profesh. So, like, I got brave the other day. I almost colored in my, uh, the one that Pippa sent me. Which, Pippa, I think that's going to be my goal for this weekend. I think I'm going to pull it out and color one image in the book. Now that I got the Faber Costells, I feel a little bit more uh, profesh. <laughs> I'm going to test them out in that book. How about a curse word one? No, I got the Churin. The Churin. Maggie, Maggie has enough problems with reading when she feels like it. And it'd be my luck. She'll read the big F word out of the book. <laughs> Yes, Laura, the pencils. Do you have unicorns or jerks, Laura? What is that? Is that a coloring book? Now I got that SpongeBob song stuck in my head. Don't be a jerk. It's Christmas. Shut up, SpongeBob. I'm trying to think, too, because I don't know a whole lot of artists. Like, y'all got fancy professional stuff. I got, like, other kinds of fancy professional stuff. <laughs> at this point, I'm pretty sure I have every uh, Alina Lazareva book that she has out. At this point, I'm pretty sure I do. It's good fun and not too detailed. See, that's my big thing is I'm not sure how well I do with the detail. Cause like, here we go. Where's that book I was coloring? I got, I've been getting braver and trying out working in some of my other books. Now this is my artist edition of the Molly Harrison book. I got brave and I started coloring in this one. I, I have to use, in the whole book? I can't use markers at all. I started coloring this one last night. And I was like, I'm getting brave. I'm going to I'm going to use my pencils. I'm going to get brave and I'm going to do this. I don't think it turned out too bad. I'm still working on the wings though. Night Shawana, thanks so much for hanging out. Have a happy holidays. Don't eat too much. I have not seen this trailer for the new Spongebob movie. What new Spongebob movie? I don't watch TV. The kids will probably know. They watch cartoons in their room. Alert. Mandy Manzano has an Etsy shop and you can buy a PDF coloring book. Yep. Oh, thank you, Crafting and Chatting with Eli. See, I knew I saw the name on that package this morning and I sat there and I was like, I know that name. Why do I know that name? Why do I know that name? See, if you would have put Craft in a chat with Eli, I would be like, oh, snap. <laughs> you can do rhinestone shirts? Really? Hello, I can be on a shirt with rhinestones? <laughs> Oh, I'm pressing on the button for my thing. Didn't you know this anxiety arts? Where have you been, girl? Bling bling. Oh, snap. Yo, I'm about to be on a shirt with bling bling on it. I had someone ask me about, will Diamond Art Club ever carry my canvases in their shop? And I was like, I highly doubt it. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> what? what are we waiting a minute for now?
I don't do SpongeBob, but I just saw the newest Star Wars. Loved it. All right. Empty shelves again. <laughs> oh, the Manny Manzano coloring book. <laughs> Yeah, Manny Manzano, when we first, uh, me and Stitcherista did reviews of her first coloring book, we weren't, we weren't fans. Like, the artwork was great, but the paper quality wasn't the best, and she was like, don't worry, I have a new coloring book coming out later this year, and we kind of forgot about it, and then when she posted it, I was like, uh, hey, Mandy, Mandy, hey, question for you, is it, is this the new one? Oh, yeah! Miss Coffee, that's the new one coming out. I meant to tell you that I, I released it. I was like, for real? So, yeah, she has her new one out. It's supposed to be better than the first one, so I, I, I kind of want to get it. Why every single one of us would buy that canvas with Miss C? What, the my can the canvas with my thing on it? I didn't think it would be something that would sell. Like, I, I figured you guys would get, like, one of the canvases and then that'd be it. Like, I don't want them to go buy canvases with my emoji girl or something on it. My luck... They'll, I'll ask them to do it. They'll be like, oh, yeah, sure. They'll do it, and then, like, Copa will take my channel away, and then there will be no memory of Miss Coffee. I'll be gone like a fart in the wind. Shut <laughs> up, Mr. Coffee. Poor boy. We probably know a lot of artists, some you would like, too. Oh, my God, Laura. Go look at her deviant art. She has many more many more hold up who are we talking about here i'm missing something oh manny manzano's page yeah i actually have one of manny manzano's uh blankets where is my blanket i just thought about them did maggie take my dang blanket i have her hello beastie image on a blanket that's like my favorite blanket on the planet I will cherish it always because she actually sent it to me. <laughs> no, light pad. Stop turning off. We are not done yet. Nope, nope. You got you got to go back on the canvas. Oh, that's why you didn't want to lay down. Oh, Mandy Manzano sells her images on all the things. You can get cups cards, blankets, pillows, beach towels, purses. She has her own website where you can get all the stuff. And I helped her do some stuff over the summer and she sent me one of the blankets as a thank you. I'm just done for real. <laughs> Yeah, so if there's an image that you're like, oh, God, I don't want a diamond painting, but I want it, you can buy posters. Uh, I think that's almost every artist that Diamond Art Club has that I, well, the ones I like. Uh, JoJo's Arts, he has his own Etsy shop where you can buy prints of his work, uh, <coughs> and he'll even run specials and autograph them for you. Like, somebody, I had a subscriber actually send me one of his autograph pieces and I want to buy one, but they were sold out when I went to go get one. I was like, God, dog it. So I have to wait. But yeah, a lot of these artists that you get from Diamond Art Club do have their own shops where you can buy their stuff. What anxiety art? I didn't do nothing. So I don't have to do all these squirrel, square drill camps. <laughs> you know you love those square drills. <laughs> love Hannah Lynn. Yeah, if you're join. Uh, Hannah Lynn has her Patreon and she has like a VIP group. That's how come I, I keep getting the the wire bound uh, Hannah Lynn coloring books because she and her VIP group is the only place where you can buy her coloring books in an artist edition and she doesn't do all of them. She will run a special for the artist editions in her VIP group if you're a Patreon. And that's fine because that's, that's the 10 best dollars I spend a month and we get like she, she does PDF pages for us to color, and then she gets bonus pages if you're higher than level one for her tiers. So, yeah, like, I, you got to get all the things, girl, all the thing. Trixie, oh, my God, I love it. Oh, yeah, Trixie is awesome. Love Trixie. And, yes, the ones on DIY Moonshop Artists as well, love Leilani Joy. 
Yes. Oh my God. There's so many Leilani Joys I want. I love Joy by Le Is that one? No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. I think that's another artist. There's one that says, I think the one that says Joy or Peace or something on it by another artist. JJ, you still here? Laura looking for you. You know she's still in there lurking. She lurking doing something. She's probably shopping. I probably got like 50 links on my phone right now. Will you say at hour marker 2, minute 15 that you needed this, Miss Coffee? I found you a link. You're ordering mother, daughter tomorrow. What's mother, daughter? Is that a dye moon shop? Sad that A Colorful Life won't be doing any more diamond paintings. Hi, Corbins. Corbins. Hi, Corbins Corner. Yeah, it's sad, but uh, if I can understand why she did it. And I, I emailed her to talk to her because I ran into the same issue she did. When you're a YouTube creator and you start your channel off doing one thing, when you switch it, it's hard to get that audience used to you doing something else other than what they're used to seeing you do. And your numbers reflect that. And I, a lot of us creators are having that same issue where we're wanting to do one more, more than one craft on our channel, but they're not getting views. And there's no point in putting all the time and energy into making the video if nobody's going to watch it. It's just very hard on the creator themselves mentally and for their channel to have videos going up that nobody's watching. Essentially, you put, say, five hours worth of work into one video and you have 12 people watch. Not saying that that's what happened to her, but this is just talking on my experience because it was the same as hers. And it's it's hard. So like like with me, I can get I can get a good thousand views on a diamond painting video. I'm lucky to get 400 on a coloring video because I'm not known as a colorist. I'm known as a diamond painter. So it is hard. And with your you want to provide videos for your subscribers that they want to see. And even though you want to do it, sometimes you have to make a sacrifice of, okay, I can't do this on the channel. They don't want to see it. I can do it behind the scenes and show them when I'm done, but I can't do it on camera because it's not something that they actually want to see. And she decided with her channel that she was going to go back to just coloring. And I decided with my channel, I'm going to pull back posting as many videos because I'm, I was posting too much. You guys were getting 10 videos a week. Um, and I literally would spend all day and night at my computer just editing, putting up videos, editing, putting up videos. So I decided to decrease the number of videos I put up because you guys don't have time to watch them. And I know I'm, I get this way sometimes too. If a creator puts up more than one video in a day... I will try my best to run over and go watch it, but sometimes I miss it and I sometimes don't get a chance to go back because I don't want to play catch up on all the other channels I'm subscribed to because of watching, you know, this person put up seven videos in one day. And usually my videos aren't short. They're like 20 plus minutes long. So to try to catch up on, say, three two hour videos, uh, that's a lot. So I'm cutting back. So that uh, I'm not overwhelming people with videos. And where I still will do other... I, I'm not going to quit on other crafts. Because I know that there are people on my channel that have gotten into coloring because of me. And that have gotten or might get into cross stitch because of me. I'm not going to not put up those videos. Because they don't get the views. I will still put up the videos whether they get the views or not. But I'm just going to change the way I do things. And that's my plan for the new year, which is why you won't see too many more videos this year. I think you might see two more. Eh, you might see three more videos this year, and that'll be it. That'll be all the videos you get for the rest of this year. Next year, my channel is going to a multi-craftual channel. So you will be seeing other crafts. And it won't be as often as I was doing it where you're getting diamond painting and coloring in the same day. But I will be doing multiple crafts because I enjoy doing multiple crafts and you guys enjoy watching me do what I enjoy. And I can't fake enjoyment in doing something I don't want to do. So if I don't want to diamond paint that day, I can't fake put a smile on and go, oh, yay, look, guys, we're diamond painting today. So a lot of people are scared. 
The Copa thing scared me enough to delete my coloring views. I sadly lost all subscribers, but like 200. Wow. Well, I wouldn't delete them. I would let Copa tell you that you couldn't have them before you delete them. Like, I'm not freaking out about my channel. Um, mostly because of the fact that I'm going to let them tell me what is appropriate and what's not appropriate. I've already done what they asked me to do. I wrote a letter to the people for Copa. I made sure to mark my videos as not for children. There's nothing more I can do besides sit back and let them tell me whether or not they think that my channel is for children or not. Which, obviously, it's not. But, who knows? Exactly, Tiny Pufferfish. My channel was called Crafting with Miss Crochet and Coffee for a reason. And it wasn't so I can do one craft and one craft only. Plus, if I want to ever get through the stash that I have incurred, I want to start busting out what I have. Getting rid of some of the stuff that I know I'm never going to get to, which is where uh, Karina's going to come in. Thanks, Karina. And I'm going to start working on some of my other crafts. I have tons of yarn in there that I'm not touching. I do do tutorials randomly, but not very often because it takes so long. And it, it, it bothers me when it, I take... I'll spend a good... On a crochet video, I'll spend a good six hours editing a video. And then to see it only get 300 views... That hurts. That's that that hurts. And to to have your subscribers, you know, oh well, I'll watch anything you put up, and then you put something up and nobody watches it. That hurts. So I have to just be more careful going into the new year, taking what I've learned this year and taking and learning and building off of that into the next year. Because there will be more than one craft on the channel. Um I I want to be a multi-craftual channel. Now, it's not going to be, like, diamond painting will be the only consistent thing because I know a lot of you are here for diamond painting. So I will still have my tips and tricks. I have the two tutorial videos that I just put up this week, which I am shocked because that video was actually really good. Like, my diamond painting video was actually really good. I did have a few people that put in some things that I should have put in the video that I didn't. So thank you to those folks. But I just want to make it where anybody can come to my channel, no matter what craft they do, and go... Hey, Miss Coffee has a video for this. I like Miss Coffee's channel. I'm going to watch, you know, this channel. And then maybe they might like watching a diamond painting video. Or maybe they might like watching a coloring video. Um, more likely coloring, though, that'll probably be like whipping chats. Because I like to I, I like to color when I do whipping chat. Just because then I can talk to myself and I don't seem as nuts. <laughs> Good night, the coloring book nook. Thanks so much for hanging out. Have a happy holidays. Well, you're welcome, Corbin. This is me every Friday night, drilling and chilling. But I'm going to let Copa tell me what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, what they they, they deem child appropriate. I mean, because technically, according to the very vague rules, anything you do craft-wise on YouTube is going to be considered, in your brain, you're going to see it as being child-appropriate. Because the bright, shiny diamonds, the colorful images, uh, shoot, 90% of the stock at Diamond Art Club is child-friendly if you look at it correctly. Like, if you look at it in a child's mindset, all bright, colorful images. They're bright, colorful, sparkly. What little girl doesn't like something that's bright and colorful and sparkly? We grown folks, and we like bright, colorful, and sparkly. So what do you think little kids think? Oh, look. Now, little boys, no. Like, if I show something to my son, unless it has Fortnite, Pikachu, Minecraft, or something like that on it, he don't care. Maggie, all the things. All the things. The cover minders, okay? The cover minders can be viewed as childlike. Hello Kitty. I have tattoos of Hello Kitty. I have tattoos, like, all over my arms. I have crochet hooks and yarn balls and Gears of War. We're not going to talk about it. I have Moon and Sun. Those can be considered child-friendly because, oh, look. It's like tattoos, like the, the temporary tattoo. You don't, we don't know because it's so vague. So I'm not freaking out until they tell me there's a reason to freak out. Now, if they take my channel, that's fine. There's always Twitch. There's Mixer. There's Instagram. Like, I can go other places. I would have to rebuild my subscriber base. But it's not like it's impossible. It'd be a pain in the butt. But it's not impossible. Because I actually debated starting a second channel to do all the crafty things on. But then I was like, I don't know, because that having a second channel, that's a little, that's 
It's already a lot of work keeping up with this channel, let alone having a second channel. Good night, Jennifer. Thanks so much for hanging out. Karina says, that's BS. I'm going to be 41. Shiny top stops me in the store. Exactly. Anytime you see anything shiny, you're like, ooh, look, shiny. Good night, Anxiety Art Adventures. Most of us should come to, under Copa's general interest. It's just YouTube that doesn't have the category yet. Exactly. And Fortnite is easily charted for diamond paintings because it's it's just like Minecraft. It's already essentially pixelated. All they got to do is put it on a canvas. Boom. Now, I haven't found a whole lot of Fortnite canvases, but I'm just saying. Maybe next year I might find one, but for right now, I'm cool. Right now, I want to do more stuff on my channel with crocheting and knitting. I want to do more stuff on my channel with my uh, coloring for the most part. I think I've already done as much as I can with coloring besides actually coloring on the channel. <laughs> but I, 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 I really enjoy... Daisy Duke, no. I really enjoy coloring, and I don't want to give it up because it doesn't get views. And that's, that's going to prove to you guys how much the money from YouTube doesn't matter to me. Where, yeah, it helps, and I do get private donations from PayPal, and, you know, you guys are awesome and watch ads and stuff like that. It helps, but I will bite the bullet to be able to do something that I enjoy doing, even if nobody watches. If one person watches, that's a good enough reason for me to continue doing it. And so, no, like I said, I don't want to stop coloring. I don't want to go back to just diamond painting, because after a while, who knows? How many times have you started a craft, got tired of it, and switched to crafts? I don't want that to happen. Whereas if I just go between my crafts, it'll make things a lot nicer. Because then, for those folks that are like, I need a break from cross-stitching. Oh, I'm going to do diamond painting. Sometimes Miss Coffee needs a break from diamond painting. Sometimes I like to do other crafts. And I don't get to do them on the channel because I was so worried that nobody would want to see it. And then when I saw my numbers drop drastically when I introduced coloring, I was like, really? And at first, I was going to do like Anne did. I was going to stop coloring and go straight back to diamond painting. But I, I, after thinking about it, I was like, no, because I like it too much. And this is my channel. And if I choose to color, I'm going to color. Now, that's not to say that everybody has to watch it, but I like doing it. And at, like I said, I already did tutorials for it. So the most I can do with it now is do whipping chats with it. And even for whipping chats, that shouldn't matter. You're not watching what I'm doing. You're listening to what I'm saying. You're listening to how Maggie's running around the house naked with her unicorn robe on, singing how she's a unicorn while the dogs are chasing her, trying to bite her butt and try to get the string off her, her unicorn robe. Like, that's what you're listening to. You're not actually watching me diamond paint. Or you're not watching me cross stitch or you're not watching me color i mean yeah you'll get to see the finished product of it and that's the other thing you get to actually see the finished product of my coloring whereas diamond painting i'm quick i ain't that quick oh thank you jeremy i so appreciate it but yeah like my my coloring and stuff like i i've inspired so many people to step out of their comfort zone and start coloring that I would be doing them a disservice if I went, you know what, it's not getting a lot of views, I can't do it. Now, if I was getting less than 100 views, I would definitely stop doing it. But I'm getting, I was getting like three to 400 views on my coloring videos. And I like to look at my analytics now because paying attention to them tells me what people like to see. And how boring would it be if you got one whip and chat a week and unboxings every other day and that's it. You got three videos, two unboxings, and a whip and chat. How boring would my channel get? I want to mix things up. I want to challenge you guys to, to broaden your craft horizons. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and buy all the things. Let me buy all the things. That's why you guys super chat. That's why you private donate. That's why you watch ads. Let me buy all the things and tell you what good things are for your price range. Like, we need to keep you in your financial lane, but also help you enjoy yourself, okay? Dee says she goes between <laughs> crochet, tatting, and beading cross-stitch. Yeah, exactly. Like, no crafter that I've ever met only does one craft, and that's it. And I don't want to... I don't want to stop doing other crafts. And that was my original plan, was to stop doing, like, like Anne... 
go back to the basics. Stop doing everything else I was doing and only stick to diamond painting. But I knew it wouldn't make me happy. And if I'm not happy, my videos aren't as nice. Like, there, you, you don't get funny videos when I'm not happy. You don't get, you know, hyper, hypo go, happy-go-lucky Miss Coffee. You get very monotone. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're diamond painting. You know, what else will we be doing? We're going to diamond paint and talk about stuff that's happened. And in my eyes, there's two ways you can tell things. One, tell it straightforward exactly how you see it. So, like, let me let me think of something that happened this week. Okay, perfect example. Went to go pick the kids up from school. We were walking to the car to get off. We, we were on the sidewalk and had to step into the street. Maggie fell and hit her butt on the, the curb. She was like, ow, mommy, my butt. But the way I tell you that story is I'm like, look, we're sitting here minding our own business, right? We're trying to cross the street, and I got this big old jacket on with the fur that's stabbing me in the eye because I can't see because there's so much fur around my hood. I look like uh, some kind of Eskimo, and I'm trying to cross the street with the kids, and I'm rushing them across the street, and little Maggie's just a going, just a going, and you just see her go bloop, fall right on her butt. And then she gets up and goes, Mommy, my butt hurts. That's going to be a lot more entertaining than, yeah, she, she fell and hit her butt on the curb, and then, you know, I put her in the car, and she was fine. And I don't want to be that cro I don't, I don't want to be that crafter, okay? I want to be happy. Happiness for me is being able to do more than one craft. Now, when you get into a craft, you go full force, which is what happened when I got into diamond painting. Because when I started my channel, I had just got into diamond painting. I was just introduced to Diamond Art Club. I was just introduced to all these other places to buy diamond paintings. And that's not to say I'm going to quit diamond painting. I will never quit diamond painting. I have too many canvases to quit. Like, there would never be a day where I go in my closet and go, there's no more diamond paintings. That will never happen. Why? Because I keep buying them. Why? Because I want all of them. <laughs> so, yeah, like, it helps make colorists feel included in the DP community. So, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> so, I, I want to be happy when I craft. I want to be happy and do things that I like to do. And, no, it might not be everybody's cup of tea. But if you like Miss Coffee, like, you know, you tell Miss Coffee you like Miss Coffee, then watching a coloring video while she does a whip and chat or, you know, hey, I want I always wondered about this craft. I might show you something that you've always wanted to get into, but you've been hesitant to get into. And then you see me do it and you go, you know what? That's real easy. And I know somebody that I can ask questions to. I can ask Miss Coffee, you know, hey, how do I do this? Can you make a tutorial on how to do this? Now, tatting? No, don't. No, no. No. D, that's all you, sweet B. Mm-mm. No, boo-boo. Mm-mm. That's all you. Crochet. Basic knitting. I can do basic. Like pumpkin spice Ugg boot basic. Anything past that, you got me. Cables? No. God, no. No. I can barely do cables for crochet, let alone knitting. Good God. Latch hooking. Yes. Uh, cross stitching. Yes. Crochet. Obviously. Diamond painting, yes, got all the things, know all the things, what you need to know, good stores, bad stores, in-between stores, cheap stores, expensive stores, what you got to need, like, that's, that's what I got you, I got you on all the crafty things, plus, I want to broaden my horizon, I want to, you know, get some new people, we want to meet new crafty people, and since I have a group on Facebook that is aimed towards crafting, and not, that's why it's called Crafters Anonymous, and not Diamond Painting Anonymous, which I believe there is a Diamond Painting Anonymous group. Um, because I like doing more than one craft. Bought a book, Teach Yourself to Tat. Really? Macrame. My mom used to do macrame. Good God. I'm in the group, but couldn't find it. Couldn't find... Hold up. What? What? You crack me up and we'll watch whatever. I, you honestly sound... Like crazy eyes from orange is the new black. Is that the lady with the uh that's the black lady with the 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 she has like dreadlocks or twists or something in her hair? Cause I get that a lot and I'm like, I've never seen that show, but I hear this all the time and I'm like, I don't know who that is. Yeah, okay. Oh yes, Robin, I have plenty of crochet tutorials. If you look in my playlist for uh Yarny things or crochet tutorials. I have 
basic beanies, ponytail beanie. I made a, where, which if one virtuous mom is still in here, I made a ponytail beanie on my, uh, the Addy machine today. I made a ponytail beanie. I figured out how to make a ponytail beanie. <laughs> That's, I, I did a thing with a thing and I made this thing. And it's a ponytail beanie. And if you don't know what a ponytail beanie is, it's a hat with a hole in the top for if you have long hair so that you don't have to hide it under your hat. You can pull your ponytail through the hat. Boom. Ponytail beanie. Head stays warm. Boom. Yeah, I have crochet tutorials for all kinds of stitches. Um, bobble stitch, bubble stitch. Uh, I just learned how to do the waistcoat stitch and what was the last one? The link double crochet stitch that looks like knitting, but it's for crocheting, but it looks like knitting. Um, I have all kinds of tutorials on the channel for crochet. I don't do them as often unless somebody requests a certain stitch that they're having trouble with, and then I will do a tutorial. And technically it's for them, but it's also for everybody else on my channel that might have had the same question but didn't think to ask. You never know, because you never know who's going to... I mean, crap. I think the how to make a basic ponytail beanie or how to make... Either how to make a pa basic ponytail beanie or how to make a beanie. One of them has 20,000 views, okay? I had one person ask me how to make it. I made one video and that many... It reached that many people. And I can't tell you how many comments I get on that video that tell me that this was one of the best tutorials that they have ever seen. It was easy to follow. They'll ask me if there are written out pattern for it, which that pattern literally comes out of my head. When I taught myself to crochet after my gram, my gram taught me how to uh, the basic crochet, like do chains. After she passed, when I was little, I had to teach myself how to do it. I taught myself and I didn't have any money. And I taught myself how to replicate patterns by looking at them because I didn't have the money to buy patterns. So now I can look at just about any pattern and go, okay, that's a this, that's a that. I can figure out this. And I can recreate any pattern by just looking at it. Now, some people would say that's stealing and I don't do it intentionally. Now I don't do it at all. I wasn't doing it intentionally or to be vicious or to steal from a, a, a person that creates the pattern. But I was literally, it was, I was, I was in a state where I was choosing between food or gas for my husband's car to go to work. But I enjoyed the craft and wanted to make cute things like everybody else. So I taught myself how to crochet by looking at stuff. You need a newbie tutorial? There's a newbie tutorial in there too. Does any... Does anyone do filet crochet? I can do filet crochet. That's actually one tutorial that you are going to be getting in the new year because that's one I haven't done yet, but I know how to do it. I made Minna a couple of years ago. I made Minna a long, it's like a, it's like a long blanket, like a lap blanket. And it has her name spelled out, but it's done in filet crochet. So it's like, it's almost like netting. And then in the middle of it, it just says Minna. Knee rugs. Catherine, are those the, the things that you make that uh, for people who are amputees? Because I've made a couple of those for my friend Charles. When I worked at IHOP, one of, my, uh, one of the cooks that worked there with me, his name was Charles. He got into a really bad car accident uh, on his way into work one day. And I felt really bad because I passed the accident on my way in too. And we couldn't figure out where he was that day. And then we found out later that day that he had been involved in a car accident. Well, it wasn't that day that he lost his leg but a year later because the injuries had just were so severe that they couldn't get the blood to circulate correctly in his leg so he ended up amputating his leg and i essentially uh i would i made him like five of the little things that he could wear on the stub to put into his prosthetic leg but i don't crochet now i attempt knitting i picked up cross stitch again a year ago i color and diamond paint Ooh, cindy that's awesome See, a lot of us are multi-crafters, and I don't want my channel to be just diamond painting. I want to be able to reach and, and show you guys some of the things that I do that are a lot different from others. Like, okay, one of the things that I do differently. So, 
Yeah, because it's already past 12 o'clock anyways. So, I will... No, no, go, go away. I want you to turn off and you want to turn off. So, when I, when I cross-stitch, okay? One. I, I... This is my needle, obviously. When I start a new thread... Don't laugh at the back of my work, okay? When I start a new thread, like if I were going to start a new thread right here, I put my needle underneath these. Okay, come down into the business real quick. And I'm going to do a tutorial on this. Don't worry. When I start my threads, I will start by putting my, my needle through a couple of loops until the end piece, like right here, until the end piece is poking out. And that's how I start my work. I don't start it like where I just hold my finger there and let it sit loose. I tuck it under the stitches before I even start using that color. That way it's already like sewn in and I don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to make sure that stitch stays in because it's underneath the other stitches. Yeah, that's how I start my thread. I start it by, if I, if I haven't started working on a project yet, I tend to do colors together, like how they're grouped together like this. So how I start mine is I'll go underneath another, like right here, I'd go underneath this, pull it to where the tail is sticking out, just like a, a fingertips worth of tail sticking out, and then I'll start cross-stitching on my work so that the stitch is already stitched underneath other stitches. Yep, no tail. That way, when you start your work there's no tail and essentially everything is pieced in like this is the ones that you see sticking up here now which are like this one here and that one there those are ending tails so all i have to do is literally go through and snip those off just like here that's an ending tail those are ending tails so all i have to do is snip those off and you can't tell where i began or started or ended or whatever Is that how you do it, Kim Turner? That's awesome. So yeah, so I'm going to do tutorials on my cross stitch, and I hope you guys will enjoy them, especially for those folks that are just starting out, because I tend to do a very simple, easy type of crafting where it's not too complicated. I try not to complicate my craft because then it's not fun. Then it feels like work. So I try not to complicate things too much. So yeah, shine bright like a diamond. What's up, shine like a diamond? I'm so glad that I caught you at least a, for a minute to say hello. Sorry I'm so late. No worries, Shine Like a Diamond. We'll be back next week. Hi, Micah. Micah Angela. Michael Angela? Mike. I, I'm slow today. I'm sorry. Hi, Dodge. Using one of my new custom diamond painting pins. I'm in love with it. Awesome. Inspired by Sophie. So yeah, so there. next year, you guys are going to... Uh, these are just the crafts that I'm going to start off with, okay? Again, do keep in mind that the channel will primarily be diamond painting. But on the weekends, weekends are fair game. And you are only going to get, what, three or four videos a week. So I'm not going to go back to doing five videos or seven videos a week. I think that was too much on you guys because it was too much temptation for me to continuously put up videos. I'm a workaholic. And when I get into a manic episode with my bipolar disorder, I tend to over record videos and then want to put them all up at once because I get so excited about them that I want them all up at once. And I think I was overwhelming you guys. So I apologize for that. So I'm going to knock it down to three to four videos a week. And on the weekends is when you will see any crafts that I'm doing tutorials or anything like that for. The rest of Monday through Friday, will, I'm going to try to stick to diamond painting or coloring. And then the weekends is going to be for my, my tutorials. If people had questions and wanted to see a certain stitch or, you know, need a tutorial for how to do cables or something like that. That stuff I'm going to leave for the weekend. Thank you, Pippa. You cross stitch over your tail or run it under your work. I run it under my work. So I'm going to show you real quick. Let me get this out of the way before I ruin it. No diamonds. Don't fly everywhere. 
this is not Delta Airlines. So let me show you real quick. So when I start a new color, let's get you down in the business. So say I'm going to start here. Okay. I will run my needle. So say, say I'm starting a new color. I will run my needle underneath my work like this, pull it out, and then I'll start that color. But I'll keep the tail sticking out so that I can then go back and trim it. But it's already sewn into the stitches so I don't have a tail just flying around. And then the tails you see like this, these are ending tails. So all I have to do is go through and snip those. Hi, Anastasia. You got a Christmas tree from Hobby Lobby. Nice. And again, this is a stamp cross stitch. So this is one where the pattern is on the fabric. And you will see both on this channel. You will see stamped one because this is my first ever stamped cross stitch and I'm completely in love with it. But I, I, I learned how to do counted cross stitch, which is where you have the blank piece of fabric. And I'm gonna show you guys all the things with, when it comes to cross stitch. I'm gonna show you how to grid your fabric. I'm gonna show you how to start your, your work. Now, I don't start like most people because they tell a lot of the times they tell you to fold it, find the middle, start in the middle. I do not start in the middle. I start on the edge, which is why I grid my fabric. So I'm gonna show you how to pretty much start to finish, how, to, how I kit up my, my kits, how I grid my fabric, how and what I use to hold the fabric while I'm, I'm cross stitching, how to cross stitch, how to hide those tails, any other little stitches that you might have problems with. Now, I, I know how to do French knots and I can do fractional stitches and stuff, but you probably won't see it that much because again, I like to try to keep things a little bit basic just because it's easier for me to get through. Now, if I catch a, a, a if I get a canvas or a pattern that is a little bit more complicated that needs fractionals or French knots. I will show you that as well, but for the most part, it's going to be very basic. Q snaps are on Amazon. Yes, Q snaps are on Amazon. Uh, that's hold on, which one came from Amazon? This one actually, I got JJ found. I think JJ, yeah, JJ found me a good deal on adjustable Q snaps on eBay. Because you can go on eBay and they, people will be getting rid of their Q-snaps. Uh, so I got this one and it's adjustable so I can make it a different size. And you can get adjustable Q-snaps. You can get hoops. A lot of people like work, like my Fortnite loot llama that I'm doing for my son is in a hoop. Uh, you can do hoops. You can do Q-snaps. You can do in hand. It's all up to you. My husband hates Hobby Lobby because I can spend a lot of money. I think we all can spend a lot of money. <laughs> Going to do a DAC next. Nice. My mom does cross stitch, but I don't get this. New viewer, I'm going to shut up and watch. Oh, rug burn, don't worry. I'm going to make sure you get it. In the new year, there's going to be all types of new crafts on the channel that you guys are going to see. So, again, it will primarily stay diamond painting, but on the weekends, that's fair game for new crafts. So, if I when I do my tutorials, that way, too... Especially if I'm teaching you how to cross stitch, you have an entire week before I put up another. Uh, you have an entire week before I put up another uh, video on how to do something else with cross stitching. So you have the entire week to practice whatever it was I showed you from the following week. That way, too, you're not getting bombarded with video after video after video after video after video. I like Q snaps best. In hand is hard to maintain tension, but it would. Love to be able to do that with cuz the way I stitch. Yeah, my Q snap and one thing I learned about the Q snaps because I've never used Q snaps before. So one thing I did learn was when it does start to get loose, like because you don't want it flopping around like that. We don't want wet noodles. I just spin my thing. Now it's nice and taut. You want it taut. So this is this is going to be like a whole big thing on the channel now is going to be Saturdays is going to be trying out new crafts. Uh, 
making sure that you guys understand if you have any questions, answering those in the video for the next following week. And of course, I will be making those videos early. So if you have questions about cross stitch and you want to see it in a video, uh, if I'm doing a cross stitch video that Saturday, make sure to get the question in by Friday evening so that uh, you, so that I can answer the question or get it in by Thursday because I record that video on Friday. DAC is a uh, diamond art club. It's a diamond painting company. Natural way. Hey, natural way. Uh, yeah, so those tutorials are going to be the first ones I put up. So the first video you're going to see, uh, I'll come in and say goodnight in a few minutes. The first video you're going to see is how to cross stitch, which I'm going to show you how to, to which is hilarious because Mr. Coffee actually showed me like a week ago how to how to mark your fabric like how to grid your fabric and then i'm going to show you exactly how to cross stitch like a very basic how to cross stitch so we're going to do that and i'm with that in that video you're going to get two lessons how to grid and then you're going to get how to basic cross stitch so just how do you make those little x's how do you finish off a color how do you change colors stuff like that Put the stringy There's stuff in the pointy thing. Because for those of y'all who don't know, Mr. Coach, apparently Mr. Coffee can cross stitch better than me. So, yeah, that's a thing. Sure. He's very proud of that. Yep. How do I frame my diamond paintings after they're done? I have a couple of videos on my channel now for framing. I just did a magnetic frame with my DIY moonshot finish. I have cheap frame alternatives, uh, which that should be uh how to how to diamond paint I, I, that no it's in my playlist on my channel so like okay here let's see if i can do it this will be the last thing and then i gotta let you guys go because i just realized it's late y'all it's getting late So if you go on my channel and you want to find a video, say you want to learn how to crochet, you want to learn how to do whatever. I'm going to make sure y'all can't see anything bad. If you go on any channel, you see this little thing right here? If you press on that and type frame. DIY how to frame my diamond painting on a budget. Frame it up Friday, alternative frame idea, DIY, how to use a magnetic frame, how to canvas finish, kit up and chat. It, it All those videos are there. So even if you type in how to crochet, there he is. How to crochet a basic slouchy beanie, how to crochet a basic ponytail beanie, how to zigzag puff, teach me how to waffle stitch, how to crochet for beginners, granny squares, V puff stitch, waistcoat stitch, like all the tutorials. There it is. There's the playlist. Crochet tutorials. How to crocodile stitch, how to do graph gans, and then like that's coloring. How to do plan. Now, if you watch the plan color pooling video, there is a part two to that video because apparently my hands were missing in part of uh, that video. So I do have a part two to that video where I, the first video I did was, uh, the first video I did was using the pink camo. The second video I did was using blue camo. So you're gonna wanna look for the blue camo video, not the pink camo. Yes, Beat It Cross Stitch, is, that's the thing Pippa, it, they have not come in yet. I have to wait until the, the Beat It Cross Stitch has come in. Once the bead it cross stitches come in, I will have a tutorial on how to bead it cross stitch. Any craft that I can do, I want to show you you guys how to do. So in case there is someone out there that is interested in doing it, I want to be able to have that tutorial up on my channel. And again, I will still be diamond painting. 
more than I will be doing anything else. I'm going to rein it back on the videos. And like I said, every Saturday, I'm going to release a new video on how to do something different just to broaden your crafting horizons. Miss Coffee, have you made the baby jacket that is all one piece? I have made one before, but that was before I started my channel. Good night, Emma. Thank you so much. Oh, hi, Emma. Sorry. I didn't mean to say good night to you. I saw somebody say night. Night, Kara. Yeah, so I, I would like to show you guys all the things so that in case someone wants to learn a different craft, if they, you know, have a diamond painting that is getting on their nerves and they want to put it in timeout, but they don't want to stop crafting. Crafting has mental health, you know, things that, that make us healthier. I want to do that, and I want to do it with more than one craft, if you guys are willing to watch those videos. And that's another reason why I said, you know, it's going to be one of those things where I do it only one day a week so that you guys can practice whatever it is I showed you. And some lessons are going to, or some videos are going to have more than one lesson, like the how to cross stitch video. I'm going to tie that into how to grid your fabric because I like to grid my fabric so that I know what I'm doing instead of having to like count and then recount and then count again. If I grid my fabric because the pattern is gridded, it makes it that much simpler. And I'll even for the how to cross stitch video, I'm going to find a pattern that is free on, on uh, Pinterest so that I'm going to link it in the video so that if you want to do that pattern while I'm doing it, you can work it with me. Good night, Ms. or Dr. Cruz. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. And with that said, folks, yes. So that is the plan coming into the new year. Again, I am going to be cutting back on the videos, but you will still see all the crafty goodness. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave those down in the comment section below. But with that said, folks, I'm going to have to let you go. It's like 1230. <laughs> Good God. Girl can run her mouth, can't she? I hope you guys enjoyed this whip and chat slash live slash whatever you want to call it it was it, it was it was something it was something with that said again thank you to everyone who sent christmas cards or a diamond thank you crafting and chatting with eli for the diamond painting it is gorgeous i am going to continue working on this after i'm done uh thank you to everybody who sent baggies and whatever thank you thank you so much again thank you for all the who's who did super chats they are greatly appreciated thank you for i did see a couple of personal donations come in through my paypal Thank you so very much. You guys don't know how much that means to me that you guys come to see me every Friday night. I'm glad I could bring this entertainment to you, even if it is one day a week. It's still probably one of my favorite nights out of the week. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're watching this on the replay, thanks for watching it on the replay because you are the real MVPs. Thank you to my mods, keeping ahead on these trolls that keep coming in here. I would like to say I hope you guys have a very happy and safe holiday. Please be careful out there because there are some nut people out there. I'm just saying. But with that said, folks, I'm going to now have to bid you adieu. And if this is your first time to the channel but you would like to hear or see more of this crafty goodness, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And coming into the new year, it'll be random. With that said, folks, I'm going to now have to bid you adieu. But not before I remind you, like I always try to. Be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much again for coming to hang out. Thank you to everyone, Super Chats, Mods, all you. I love you guys. Have a very happy, very, very Merry Christmas. Hope you guys have a great New Year if I don't see you before then. And I will catch you guys next week. Bye.